Test test one two. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to put in a new mixing board today and it didn't work and I forgot to put it back. My bad. Stream mode activated. Hashtag influencing. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to the stream. Happy Tuesday! <laughs> Gift me more. <laughs> Hope you guys all had a terrific come Tuesday. Been a bit since I caught a stream. Well, welcome back. We missed you. Coney, please fix the TV. What do you mean? It's fine. What's wrong with it? Are you going to PAX West? I was going to, but now I'm not because something else has come up. Thank you, Melee Kunis. I really wanted to go. I was kind of sad, but I was supposed to go. But something else has come up, so I'm doing something else instead. Something important. Which sucks, because that's my birthday weekend, dude! That's my birthday weekend. My birthday's on that Sunday, September 3rd. The big 4-0. No. <laughs> it's not the big 4-0, and you know that. You shouldn't put information out there like that. Otherwise, somebody's going to think that it's real. And then they're going to leave chat. They're not going to, like, check it. They're just going to see chat. And they're going to think that's real. And then just close the stream and be like, damn, I didn't know Coney was old. He's not. There is so much to look at today, you guys. There is so much information. So much to be thankful for. Big stream. We actually have a Fortnite bounty, too, so big ups on that. <laughs> Playing some Fortnite tonight. Love that. Gotta watch Nasby at the catch up with that. Hold on. Uh Okay. So I've heard and I'm I'm curious about this. Hello? I have heard the fuck is this? I have heard that if you post a link on Twitter, even if it's in a reply, uh, it still kills your tweet. And I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm just not going to post. <laughs> I'm not posting anything. My computer's dead. I'm just going to post this. People can find it if they want. There we go. So we're going to catch up with some Gamescom stuff. Apparently Gamescom happened today. Um, I didn't realize it was happening. But I like to stay on top of what games are coming out. So I'm going to look at Gamescom. But if the boring shit, is, uh, if the boring shit isn't good, I'm going to skip it. Which is why I don't watch it live. Right? Um, then I want to catch up with Nasby too. Because there are two character uh, things that I haven't seen yet. Jimmy Neutron, Spongebob. Then I wanted to watch that Dunky video, and I might change the order of that, because I haven't seen that. Then we have to play Fortnite, because I have a bounty to do. Then I have a bounty for Domino's, and actually, this is without even considering we have a sponsor tonight! A brand new one, and I haven't updated the link! Hold on. I didn't do my job. Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Aha, thank God these guys are owned by the same company. So Scent Bird is out. I've shilled Scent Bird enough. You guys have seen enough out of them. But you know who I haven't talked about yet is Scent Bird's other company, Dr Drift. That's right, Drift. Drift is a, uh, a company that I'll tell you about in a second. I have to do a, a CTA. It's the same thing. Okay, just I'll tell you in a little bit. Are you going to just eat Domino's for that? 
I have to order Domino's new pepperoni stuffed cheese <laughs> bread. Um, it's an eight-minute bounty, so I don't know if I order it or if I eat it. Wait, we also... Hold on. We also encourage you to play the new pepperoni stuffed cheesy bread song on stream while trying the new product. Do you want it leaked? Should I leak it, or do you guys want it to be a surprise tomorrow? Live reveal? <laughs> All right, hold on. Yum, yum. That's a short sample. I'm not going to listen to the rest. You'll find the rest tomorrow, during tomorrow's stream. So if you want to eat up some yummy pepperoni stuffed cheese bread with me, order it with me tomorrow, show up to the stream. Otherwise, you don't get any. I'm going to eat yours. Thank you, V-Red. Yum, yum, yum. So good. <laughs> I forget. How many eating emotes do we have? I forgot about yum with two M's. We have so many eating emotes, man. We have a lot of eating emotes and dancing emotes, and now cat emotes. I'm not even a cat guy. Despite the outro. Coney, look at Pokemon. That's the other thing! A new Pokemon came out! I didn't see anything about it, but isn't this guy, like, really fucked up? I think I saw somebody say that this is, like, another one of those balloon guy situations where this guy is, like, a real piece of shit to kids or something, right? Am I making that up? Literal murderer. <laughs> but it's so cute! Does it go here? Whatever, I'll put it here. Oh my god, I'm moving the sub count. I didn't realize that we're only one sub away from the sub goal. Holy shit, how long has it been like that? Dude, that means the next person to prime would hit the goal. Oh my god. I hope we hit it. Thanks, Evan. That's not a prime, though. That's a tier one, and it's a resub, so that doesn't count. Poltergeist. It may resemble Sinistee at a glance. Don't know what that is. Aw. Cute. Wait, like Sinister? Like, is that fucked up too? But Poltergeist is actually an entirely different species. Though ecologically similar. <laughs> okay. It's a completely different Pokemon. Swirl pattern similar to the one that's known to be Sinister's. Lives in old houses made patch up broken tableware okay so it fixes stuff that's nice so it's not a murderer then he's fine the reveal video is awesome my ass is not watching a five minute pokemon reveal he killed her <laughs> all right he killed that woman right is that what happened Skip to the end. Did he kill her? Oh, is this real? Even flavoring things with matcha is forbidden there. Huh? Wasn't this chipped? Oh, wait. It's been sealed? Oh, no. My skin is glowing. What the fuck is that? Did he kill them? It's dead kids? If you ever waste food, it kills you. That... Those are their souls? It actually killed them. It's not just kids, it's anyone. They, they killed a class full of children. There's like 12 kids there. What? 
What? Look at their bodies. They're asleep. Okay, does he live off their dreams? I'm see like I'm not joking here. Please don't be funny. Did that kill them? Did Pokemon just reveal a a, a serial killer as their newest cute little mascot? They say they faint. <laughs> Isn't faint the term for a dead Pokemon? Like when a Pokemon dies in a fight, they faint. You can't trick me. Hey, ads coming up. Four seconds. You know what it is. Drop the bomb on them. Hold on. I'm going to play the music. We're dropping the bomb on these dudes. Hold on. Drop the bomb on them, bro. Here comes the ad bomb. The only way to stay safe. Get into the Prime Bunker. Free with Twitch Prime. And we're one away from the sub goal. If you subscribe, we're going to hit the sub goal. If you don't have a Prime because you gave it to some other asshole, that's okay. It's $4.99 a month. And I will gladly take your cash. Pay up right now. Otherwise, I'm going to send you ads. And I'm going to make sure none of them are good. You're going to get no good ads. You're going to get Billy Eilish. I don't even know what ads are on anymore. Because I don't, I don't watch Twitch ads. What are the good ads now? You're not going to get metal in your lungs. <laughs> You're not going to get that one for the prescription medication about blood clotting or whatever that was. I haven't seen one since Travis Scott. Join the Marines? No way that's real. Is that real? You get Marines? I think I've seen Air Force, actually, or Navy. Honestly, dude, if I'm the military, that's kind of smart. Like, that's not a bad angle if you really need people to, like, you know, sign up and, you know, go to war and, and die in another country. Like, Twitch is a good place to, to start looking because there's a lot of young people here, right? So get them to sign up and there you go. I got a Microsoft one. What what about Microsoft? Just Microsoft in general? or It's just like COD, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> hey, 13-year-old, want to die at sea? Yeah, want to be miles and miles away from all of your friends and family and die alone on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Join the Marines. I'm so disrespectful. I, I don't... <laughs> I, 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 listen, I if, if anybody out there is a Marine, thank you for your service, I guess. I just... Being on Twitch is... Then again, Twitch is just softcore porn, for the most part, on the homepage. I keep getting that fucking body paint lady. So, I, I guess... You know, trying to enlist military service men isn't that bad, comparatively. Do I have it? No. Never mind. No body paint today. Perhaps later, though. Shit's always on my front page, dude. Dude, Facebook thinks I am so... I don't, I don't know if you guys have this issue... Uh, this sounds like a bit. It's not. Facebook thinks I'm so horny, and I don't know why. I literally don't know where they're getting that idea. Like, it just keeps showing me, like, how do I put this? It'll it'll show, like, a, a picture from, like, the 40s or the 50s of a woman who's, like, very well endowed, right? Like, leaning over. And they're like, check out this historic shot from 1958. The day our boys came back from... I know that's not the year. Don't laugh at me. But you get what I'm saying. It'll just be like, check out this this awesome shot from way back when. And it's clearly so people will comment, wow, nice rack. Well, I didn't... I don't want that. I've never clicked on that before. Does it think that I'm like... Does it... Does it... Well, look at my scroll time. Have I stopped on that before? And then it's like, damn, this guy's... Only, I don't know where it's getting this idea. I really don't. I have no idea. Old white guy Facebook? I'm not... Stop saying old! Especially on Facebook. Comparatively, I'm a fucking Zoomer over there. I'm sprightly on Facebook. I'm the youth. I'm like the, the, the key demo over there. You act way older than you actually are. I don't know if that's true. I had pizza rolls for dinner. It's not a joke. Here's the plate. 
It's real. I looked in the fridge. I was like, we don't really have anything. Totino's it is, baby. Lock it up. For dinner? Hell yeah. How many? A bunch. <laughs> There's not a lot of meat in those things. You need a lot to be able to, right? You look way older than you actually are. I know that's not true. I know I look younger than I am, but I feel like I'm going to hit a wall. I feel like at some point it's all going to come in a day and I'm just going to wake up and it's going to go. <laughs> I, I do know I look younger now and that's not cope. That's real. But I think it's going to go bad like randomly. That day was yesterday. I showed up on stream. It's a different person. Okay. So we got stuff to look at. But before we do... Wait, where did I put it? Where'd it go? How Boom. How come starved for a whale champ? When will you pop it? A wheel champ? Oh, I was going to do that today, but we have a... I don't know when we're going to wheel champ again because we have uh, a lot of other stuff we're doing. Wednesday or tomorrow is the room buying stream, in case you guys don't know. We're buying shit for the room. And then Thursday is Roblox Thursday. Maybe Sunday? Maybe we spin the wheel tomorrow for Sunday? I don't know. I don't have the crocodile set up. That might be the play. Roblox Thursday, and then tomorrow is uh, Amazon Wednesday. I'll give you guys a thousand bucks to do whatever you want with the room. And I should be able to peel it back more. The room's a mess right now because I still haven't cleared it out. Because I've been in uh, survival mode with all the fucking events I've gone to, but we're gonna we're gonna add stuff. There's really one thing here. There's room for one thing. I saw some people putting like, like the Undertaker stand up. He's not. He's gonna be too tall. You're not gonna see his head. I saw a Stone Cold one. When is Rat Game, dude? I've given up. I think Jacob's in Japan anyway. He's there for a while. So, okay. Who wants to watch Gamescom? I don't know if I do. I didn't realize that Gamescom was happening. Uh, it, Gamescom is is baby E3, apparently. I'm going to skip through all the bad stuff, though, which is why I like watching this stuff later. Poor Jeff, man. <laughs> what happened to Jeff? What's wrong with Jeff? What did he do? Do Donkey first? This sucks. Why well, have to watch Donkey too? I have Donkey this and Nasby. And then Fortnite. What a big day. I don't know what Jeff did. I can't wait to see it. Welcome to the Gamescom Opening Night Live 2023 pre-show. Coming to you from my... My ass is not watching a pre-show. Get out of here. D is that not Animal Crossing? To our... That's definitely well, Animal Crossing. <laughs> Wait, is this the Animal Crossing with the guns? You know the one that uh the the one that came out oh my god, what was it called? You know what I'm talking about, right? There was Animal Crossing with guns. Pal World? No, that's Pokemon. No, 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 no. There was an Animal Crossing. Long Venter. That's it. Yes. Have you guys not seen that? Dude, yeah, there's Animal Crossing with, with guns, like this. <laughs> okay. Look at that. This came out a little while ago. You guys haven't seen Long Vinter? Yeah, dude. It's fucked up. This exists, and it has for a long time. Check it out. <laughs> I never gave it a shot. I thought this might be Long Vinter too, but I guess not. Working the land. Equipped. I saw this and I thought it was Animal Crossing. There's something about this isometric shot with her facial features that's like, okay, that's... With kindness and creativity. Absolutely not. By the way, my wife beat uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley today, so let's all give it up for Mallory for becoming best friends with all of her Disney friends. Dude, that game is so fucked up. You just have Scar following you as your companion. And he doesn't eat you. He talks about how much he hates you and how much he wants to kill you. And then he just doesn't. It makes them all look so, like, he's so uh, incompetent. He could just eat her at any point. Is Michael Mouse in the game? Dude, yeah. So uh, I would I would go upstairs and anytime I'm in the room, I tell her to equip Mickey Mouse. Because when you equip Mickey or you go into Mickey's town, it makes this, it's a very funny song. 
It do 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 do. It's so good. Every time I watched her play that game, she was cooking in ratatouille. I don't know if that's like a part of the game or just you know <laughs> women's instincts. I don't know, but I I w <laughs> that was too lowbrow. That was too. <laughs> That was too much. That was too. Yeah, that was too much. That was too much. She she did a lot of cooking. Apparently, people in that game want you to make a lot of food. You found yeah, we'll cut that one from the YouTube. We'll cut that one. Who knows what <laughs> and I'm not. Fay Farm and no. It's about seeing a few. Top ten reasons. Look forward to Gamescom opening night. Future. Yeah. Jeff Keighley is showing up. Why Let's. This is a game, nothing more. What is this? Is, win that is this a VR FMV game? <laughs> oh, dude, this rules. Nothing Wait. Goes. Apparently, there's more to this than I thought. That's kind of cool. No one came out there. The Coney game, unironically, yes. Not one Dude, I feel like a VR FMV game would scare the shit out of me. Ever seen. That would scare the me a lot. Is waiting there. Crazy. Sick. That's kind of smart, though, because you can't interact with ghosts. So if you VR it, you can't, like, and you reach out and try to touch somebody, you can't. So it's not going to be this uncanny thing where you're, like, slapping somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's smart, dude. Damn, that's pretty good. It's just an amusement park ride. That's fine with me. That's all VR has to be, I think. You're paying like two thousand dollars for the headset. You might as well. We. <laughs> so one of play this on stream. Absolutely not. What is this? Is this a game? game. What is this art style? It's it looks like clay almost? Like Am I crazy? Maybe it's the hair? <laughs> Noisy hill, loud mountain. He looks like an action figure, which is, like, kind of cool. The lighting is all over the place. If this game goes, like, an action figure direction, that's neat. But it is just Silent Hill. Post-trauma. Never heard of that. That's the first time I saw it. Who's Red Soul Games? That feel when Red Soul Games is a new studio with their first game post-trauma. <laughs> I feel like that always happens. I'll look up a dev at one of these and that. Yep, that's what it is. Yep, super small video game studio from Spain. Gotcha. We are <laughs> there. It is. Yeah, in plain English. Got to start somewhere. I'm not complaining. That's fine. Good for them. But it does. It, it it's so funny. I'll see like an interesting game. And I just, it's always, like, a new dev. And I'm like, damn, that shit's just not gonna succeed. <laughs> it's kind of sad. I hope it does. I hope that they're able to achieve their dream and make a game that does well. But it just, it feels like I keep seeing these, like, neat ideas for games that, like, if they do well, it's great. But it's, like, a small team working on their first thing. And it's like, is this gonna pop off? I don't know. Good luck. Finds his life. Uh, as you could probably tell. Oh. Video games, that bro. Not this one. <laughs> I want a different game. Is this? Wait, is Delta Force the 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 military enlisting? Am I crazy? Is this the one that, like, teaches you how to be in the military? That's America's Army. Oh. 
Is this the VR one? I, I've heard Delta Force before. Whatever. Enlist, enlist. We need you! <laughs> Alright, I, I don't care about a war game. Why do this? Why, if you're not COD, you're not winning, little bro. Like, what? just give it up, man. Treat. Right? What? COD already has the market cornered. Damn, that is kind of pretty, though. <laughs> These guys just standing there? They're facing you. All right. I, anybody could be taken by surprise. Do, no way people use bow and arrows like in real military situation. Am I crazy? This we don't have like sovas in the battlefield, right? That can't be real. <laughs> Not in the real world. Okay, I know that's a very stupid question, but part of me is like, is there one guy that gets sent like overseas? Like like the like a Robin Hood ancestor or something, you know what I mean? Like one guy that's really good like this, just like in Valorant, yeah, just like that. Like Rambo, yeah, dude. This is this is silly. Yeah, no, no, thank you. Oh, shit. I, I put it up on the screen, but I forgot to talk about it. I, I, I got to do a CTA real quick, guys. Give me a second. Okay. Wait. We got to do a CTA real quick for today's sponsor. It'll only take a second. Okay? And then uh, a couple other ones later. Fellas! The sponsor of tonight's stream is not Scentbird, but it's a side company. It might be a sister company. Maybe they're owned by Scentbird. I don't know. But they're called Drift. And Drift is an air freshener for your car. Now... I know that these come in a lot of different uh, packages. You've probably seen them that go on your uh, vents. You've seen the nice little trees, whatever. They can sometimes be a little overbearing. But they sent me Drift, and I put it in my car. I genuinely love this. It's a little block of wood that's coated in oils, and you put it up here. Also, you can get stone, apparently. I didn't get the stone. I got wood. But you put it up at your little, uh, your, 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 uh, the, the, the visor, the thing. I got the wood freshener, and it goes up there, and you don't see it anymore, and it's not in your way, and it just smells good. I don't know which scent I got. I think I got teak. They just sent me a, a free one, obviously. But they're inexpensive. It's only $9.95 uh, currently, and that's for, you know, normal without my prices. Because remember, I always bring you the good deal, which you can see if you hit exclamation point, uh... Drift or exclamation point freshener or exclamation point car or exclamation point scent. Any of those are good. You could check out Drift for your car. They come in wood, stone, or metal. I actually love these things, and I'm probably going to keep using it even after the sponsorship because I like having a smell in my car, but I feel like a lot of stuff is like... For me, I don't like that artificial scent that like the trees or like other stuff have. I really like this, um, and I want to try some of the other ones. So... I talked about Drift even before I was sponsored by them because they sent me this a long time ago. I'm a big fan. Check out Drift. You can shop by scent or by freshener. So many different ways to get stuff for your car. Apparently, they do stuff for your home, too. I didn't know that. Candles, room sprays. I d you don't have to do all that. Maybe just get the car one. Check out Drift, exclamation point Drift, or any of those other things. Or click the link in the panel below to find out more about Drift on my stream. Thank you, Drift, for sponsoring. Chat, can I pull you aside for a second? Can you guys be nice during the ad reads? Why are you guys doing that? You know they're going to watch this back. Can you guys just be nice? It's a good product. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of this product. We want you to chew on the wood. It's in my car. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll take a big old bite. Eat a chunk out. Mm-mm. That's uh, it's some bread to go with your water, with the uh, with the scent bird. You just tss, take a bite out of the wood. I will say, when you get drift, you're gonna be surprised because when you take it out of the bag, it's wet. <laughs> it comes in this like it comes in this like foil package, and it it slides out, and it's all greased up. 
but it's good. Welcome back to the Yeah, game. when, because you're all getting it. When you get it. Bladewide comms open. Attention all personnel. You've each just received a mission briefing. Stay fifth fleet stop it. Simple shakedown crews. I don't get these games. Down, down. Show me the gameplay. I want to look. Never mind. Oh, it's Homeworld. Okay. I was going to say, when a game shows me like a big ship and a big vast sea and it has all these commands off on the side, my eyes go cross. I don't know what to look at. All I have. My now, ass is not into big sins. Away. E creator. How long is Gamescom? Am I missing out? Is this E3? Should I be like doing this every day? No, no, kinda, no, no. <laughs> of the Game Award. It's two hours long. I mean, I'm skipping a lot. And Germany and hello everyone watching live. Oh, his ass is in Germany. <laughs> around the world, I am Jeff Keeley and welcome. They ain't got the no games over there. <laughs> person video game event, Gamescom 2023. They're calling duty kaif. <laughs> Now, this right here is kind of like the opening ceremonies for Gamescom. It's a preview of this year's Don't skip most the beginning yet. Okay. games. We call it Opening Night Live. And over the next two hours, you'll get exclusive new looks at titles like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Alan Wake 2. They're making a 3? Assassin's Creed Mirage. I didn't know And that. Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> no way. <But> Madden! First, <laughs> we're going to kick things off. With the first new franchise in more than two decades from a legendary game studio. And to help us step into the vast world of Starfield, a very. No. That's a tiny piano. Dude, who got him that piano? That looks like Schroeder. Why is it so small? Can we not fit a grand one on the stage? That's German engineering. He's so hunched over. They had to fly it to Germany. This man is 6'10". Couldn't we have gotten him a bigger piano? I'm not watching Starfield. I Listen, I, I, do, I, I wish there was a betting site where I could bet on the Metacritic for this game. Because I would love to place a bet on this at like 84. I'm feeling a cheeky 84. But I don't know. Bet with me right now. Do your Metacritic guessing segment again. 65 max? Relax. It's a Bethesda game. <laughs> We're talking about Bethesda, bro. Like, they, they, they kind of have a bit of the Nintendo bonus. They have the aura. Bethesda just not if it's a second or third party Bethesda like uh like Deadfall what what was that vampire game that came out Dead Night Night Dead Fall Nightfall Dead Night Redfall <laughs> got one of the words completely wrong yeah one of those is like way off Dead to rights yeah I, like if it's second or third party people will be mean but if it's first party if Bethesda makes it they're gonna Drake. That is a tiny piano, dude. What were they thinking? Okay, yep. Astronaut goes to space. Shoots aliens, goes to Mars, picks up dust, goes to the crystals, uh, comes home, sees his son. Starfield or daughter. I didn't. I, one of those. <laughs> Wait, is that like Hans Zimmer? Is that like a big musician I don't know about? Why are we applaud? Is this like a big guy? Yes? Coney, stop skipping. I'm not watching two hours of Gamescom, Jeff. 
It's true. In just over a week, that's Dan Bobby Schmurda. It is not. He's in jail, Xbox I think. PC. Well, I've been lucky enough to start playing it. Don't be jealous. Uh, I'm not allowed to say anything about it. Uh, yes, exactly. All right. Well, guys. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, guys. Really disappointed. They're disappointed. They're doing the Bill Clinton thing. That's what they're. I just. Jeff needs to kill the next guy on the spot to make an example. Yeah, Jeff should bring a gun to the next presentation. Not like a big gun, kind of inconspicuous, but he should definitely have like a, a pistol on him. Just <laughs> bring a revolver. No, I don't think it has to be that ostentatious. It has to be clinical and fast. I think a revolver is like, look, you know, big iron on his hip. You know what I mean? He's not the sheriff in town. He is efficient and cold. Just kill somebody. And then that will kind of get the point across, I think, to these <laughs> fucking influencers. allowed to say anything about it. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah, that's funny, man. That's really good. That's really funny. Bill Clinton wants to play GTA 6. It's... Worse than what the first guy said. All right. Well, who the fuck guys. is this? <laughs> Follow Justin Heine on TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> this guy's. I I feel like these guys weren't together. They both had the same idea, which is like I'm gonna storm the stage right now. And then he saw Anything. the first guy doing it, and he's like, oh shit! And he stood up. About it. Uh, yes. Exactly. <laughs> Like, you saw the first guy do it, he's like, oh, hell no, he's blowing up my spot. What about me, everybody? <laughs> it's like a Tim Robinson, I think you should leave sketch. As soon as Jeff's done with that trailer, I'm going to get up on stage, and I'm going to show my product. I'm going to get everybody to follow me and look at me. And then they can't work up the courage. They're, like, scared to do it. He's sitting in his chair. He's like, I got to do it. I got to do it now. And then somebody else gets up. Oh, shit! Has to get up. Five people in the audience keep getting up. Bill Clinton! Bill Clinton! Bill Clinton! The whole... The, the entire audience stands up to try to get the attention. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, here they all come! Look at everybody trying to get on the stage! <laughs> They've all decided now is the time. Look at everybody assembling on the stage to try to get their five minutes of fame. Really disappointed. <laughs> Influencer free for all. Yeah, I think Jeff should kill a guy. I think so. Even just brass knuckles, I think. Something. Um, uh, He needs some form of defense. The ring is closing in. You think the storm is closing? That's funny. Oh my god, chat, there's a link I should click? Wow, I didn't see that in the chat. Until just now. <laughs> okay, he killed him. He did, He killed him. Good. Good. I'm glad he put an end to this. The guy who stormed the stage at Gamescom has been compromised to a permanent end. <laughs> Good for him. You think Jeff did it with his... I don't think Jeff gets his hands dirty. I think Jeff makes Kojima do it. Definitely hires a guy, yeah. Next person that spams a link in my chat, I'm killing you. So, yeah. If Jeff can make an example, so can I. You guys better watch your posting. <laughs> That's just so disappointing. This is such a special night for so many developers. It's really disappointing to see someone uh, act that way. But we're going to move right on with the show. Dude, I, honestly, that sucks. This is going to happen at every single show now. Because one fucking guy had a, had a funny thing that happened. It was very silly and unexpected. And now everybody is like, I want to be looked at. And they're going to be doing this. That's, that really sucks. We've got a lot of great games to show you. This poor guy. Man. Really, it just it's just so sad to me to see something like that happen a night we're here to celebrate games and this It's stupid and dangerous and isn't even funny. Well, like the first one was funny because like and the reason that I like that guy is because it was so harmless. 
He wasn't doing anything. He just snuck up there, set a non sequitur, and then left. It was just stupid. And, like, you know, I could see how it could be disrespectful to FromSoft and Miyazaki, whatever. But, like, one time is like, okay, fine, whatever. But let's not do it anymore. ...community and how much they mean to us. So, without further ado, um, I want to move right on with the show because we've got a lot to show you. And the good news, Gamescom, is we have someone very special here who can... <laughs> it's Kojima again. Starfield. Please join me. And welcoming to opening night live in Gamescom for the first time ever. It's not one him. of our industries. It's not him. Creators, it can't be. The director and executive producer no way. of Bethesda it can't Game be. Studios. It can't That's be. Right, Todd Howard. Everybody. He's here. It's him. He came down from exploring space. Why you always got the same thing on? He got on like a like this this bomber jacket kind of thing with a white shirt. I'm not complaining. I love his look. Listen to me hating. I love Todd. What a little guy. He's like 5'6", I think, right? Todd, You're smaller? I'm literally not. Thank you so much for coming. He's not. No, he's not. Todd Howard Height. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you really thought. He's from Pennsylvania? Ew. Coming all this way to Gamescom, uh... We have a lot to talk now about. Now Google Coney height. <laughs> I'm 5'9". See? Twitter no or d d d the d Google knows. Got to Oh, my God. There. Do people really search this? Who does Coney main smash? Oh, my God. Are these really what people search? Is Terry at Smash a boy or girl? How tall is Rivers? Is that... Oh, I thought it meant like Smash Rivers. Who is YouTube's River? Who is the youngest streamer in the world? Everything says 5'9", which is correct. Duh. Is this true? This is your first ever time at Gamescom? This is my first Gamescom, and you were right. You said how great the crowd is here. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely wondering about Starfield. Is this where the worm turns for Bethesda? Because I thought... I thought I wouldn't like it, and then I watched the presentation, and I was like, damn, that actually looks pretty good. I They won me over, if you remember. I watched it, I was like, damn, that doesn't look bad at all. It looks good. Um... But when we actually get our hands on it, is it actually going to work? Or does it matter? Does Todd's ambition to reach for the stars, is that enough to win over a new generation, right? If it's buggy day one like Cyberpunk, I'm buying that shit. <laughs> if it's funny bugs, I'm on it. Straight up. Love me a funny bugs. Convention and gaming to 20... Where I, I Make game I, I've Galaxy. already seen enough about game. Starfield. Yeah, I, I wish I could talk. Asa meets. Oh the shit! Reveal of the third installment in a franchise that is very familiar to Gamescom fans. Here we go. Do Germans love this game? Oh, I'm not skipping this one. I like this series. I think. I mean, it's Little Nightmares, right? I think. Who did Supermassive make that? Who are Supermassive? I thought Supermassive made um until dawn, yeah. I always get Super Giant and Super Massive mixed up. Okay, they did make that. Okay. You know, I'm not crazy about the new, like, designs, the world, the look. I don't know. But I love these games. There's too many of these games for me? No way. You're kidding. 
feel like there's any of these games. Especially not like... Like, Little Nightmares is distinct, dude. These are good games. Is it three or... Okay, yeah. So, wait. Is this like a co-op one, I guess? That's kind of neat. There's like Limbo inside in this. I mean, I get the idea of like... Tim Burton-esque uh, platformer where little innocent thing traverses a big scary world. Those those games are in abundance. But I think Little Nightmares does it so uniquely and so well. And the environments are really cool. So I love that shit. That's right, Little Nightmares 3. And joining me now are Coralie and Lucas from Bandai. Although now, I liked the second one a lot less than the first. Tell us more. Uh, Lucas, two, uh, literally, and so two much. characters are also. Yeah, but I didn't think you played them at once, right? Because it was the raincoat girl and the bucket head, or whatever. Here at Gamescom to announce another Little Nightmares. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, it's really great to be back. Uh, we're very excited to announce Little Nightmares 3 tonight. The franchise has a long history with, uh, with the show. I mean, that's where we announced the first... That dude is so bald, he's giving off plasma. Games, what so is that? It was definitely the best place, best show to reveal Little Nightmares 3 to the world. Well, we appreciate you bringing us this news. It looks incredible. Dude is a halo. Uh, Carly, I, I see we saw two characters in that reveal trailer. Can you tell us a bit more about them? The yeah, nightmare, sure. they are little. I'm so happy to be here oh. to live. Two players are titled for his trailer. Can My character, they are so petite. Called this part full of the way out. Oh. Perhaps a swimming level, a water level, where you are in a battle of wine. So you can go on our awesome reveals football based on the classic 16th century. My ass is not playing Black Myth Wukong. Three Chinese, not this incredible. How is he singing? His ass is not singing. He doesn't have a mouth or vocal cords. Ew. Can they show that in jer- I didn't think- I thought they were like more against violence or something. Like you can't- you- you- everything that has blood in Germany has to be a robot. Right? Oil has to come out instead of blood or something. I thought they hated that shit. Am I making that up? Sconey speaking on two lines of knowledge. Was that TF2? There was some game that th the the enemies had to be... Was it Bioshock? I don't remember. You're thinking of China. No, I'm not. China hates skeletons. They're scared of skeletons. And who could blame them? Oh, never mind. This looks a little crazy. Monkey Sekiro? Oh, never mind. I'm in. Oh my god, I'm in. This rules. Get him, Wukong! Time for monkey madness. Oh, you could jump? It is Sekiro. Oh, this rules. I like this. I love this, man. Classic Kony immediate 180. That should just go to show you how much I'm not a hater. If I see something good, I will recognize it. This rules. This is a fat W. Until it says, developed by Ubisoft. <laughs> Uh-oh. Who's making that shit, though? Damn, he activated the... the visor? He had a scanner, bro. It's Chinese studio, Chinese devs. Dude, that game looked pretty good. I'll give it up. I like that. That looked good. My ass might be playing Black Myth Wukong. Yeah. It's not XCOM, right? 
I was gonna say, these aren't aliens. Dude, what the f- This is so violent! Is this Doom? Oh my god! Is this Doom or Serious Sam? They're like the same thing. Quake? That's the other one, yeah. It's something with a gun. Gotcha. All right, forgot about that one. That is another game. Dude, why would you show the Doom monster? <laughs> that is definitely a Doom monster that you showed. You're not clever. You didn't trick anybody. Killing Floor is a good series. I just didn't think they, like... I don't know. I thought that they had more uh, distinct enemies or something. That's a pounder. I, I I played Killing Floor 2. I don't remember the names. But I liked it a lot. Um, I know there's like a pounder and a fat guy. I don't know. You don't know what a flesh pound is? I played Killing Floor 2 for like a month. And then I got wrapped up in a better game. Just like I'm doing right now with Remnant. Dude, I played Remnant on the secret stream last night. I'm in that desert level on Mars. Fuck me, that was boring. Dude, I was I was so annoyed by that. Flesh Pound, Scrake, Husk. Oh my god, everybody, drink it up for that. True gamer, everybody's so impressed by your knowledge of killing floor enemies. It's really impressive. I can name like 10 Mario enemies right now. You wouldn't be impressed by that. But because you know all this grim, dark, adult stuff, you think that's a cool thing. Do it. Goomba, Koopa, uh, Buzzy, uh, Spike, um, Paratroopa, Paragoomba. Um, Para Buzzy, um, Lemmy, Morton, Bowser, 10. <laughs> that was 11? I always go one above. I like to go, uh, above and beyond whenever possible. Didn't even mention Shy Guys, fake fan. Actually, Shy Guys are a Yoshi enemy. You're the fake fan. Mods, give that guy the night off. I'm not playing this. Thank you, Ruben Dale. Thanks for the five gifties. What a <laughs> Enjoy your night of rest. Age of Empires for anniversary. That guy's sick in the brain. He needs a night to relax. Edition, an award-winning game on PC Give him a long is now nap. available on Xbox consoles <laughs> today. That's right. All right, next up, we I'm have something extremely guy. special for you. We have one of the most iconic filmmakers of all time in the house. The director behind it's the Kojima. films such as 300, Man of Steel, and Army of the Dead. He's come all the way to Why is he to here? talk about his new film, Rebel Moon, which is on Netflix, December 22nd. Oh. <laughs> He's on a Netflix movie uh, press tour. Got you. Gamescom, please yeah. give a warm welcome to the one and only Zack Snyder. Mm. No, nah, I, don't, I don't think I will. Rebel Moon on Netflix. That shit's not a game. What is this? Movies com? No thanks, bro. Special gameplay update trailer. This should look like an MMO. That should look like Naraka Blade Point. Skipping that. Take too long, and it'll start to degrade and lose value. Now, do what you need to do to get ready. I'll see you on the other side. The Redfall DLC? Is this payday? This is payday, right? I don't get payday. 
Which is stupid because I play games like Payday, but Payday doesn't make sense to me. It's weird that I can play Texas Chainsaw Massacre over and over, and it's the same thing every time on the same maps. I'm like, wow, this rules. But when I see Payday, I'm like, wait, so you're robbing the same bank over and over and over? That's stupid. I don't know why when it's Payday, it's different. Like, Left 4 Dead is fine. Texas Chainsaw is fine. But when it's robbing a bank, I'm like, that's stupid. You should have 100 levels. I want to rob 100 banks. Where did you get that twirl finger into fist pump motion from? I made it up. Do you like it? <laughs> that shit better not be assassin. It, it's Assassin's Creed. Ass ass in. <laughs> Isn't there a new SEO or whatever? Is he the new guy? Don't care. Dude, I was talking with this with my friend last night in a Discord call. I think Assassin's Creed might be one of the most you-had-to-be-there franchises. Like, if you were not there for the first one or for, like, the beginning of it, Getting into it now does not look appealing. But I feel like that's probably true of, like, Far Cry, too. I, I don't know. I think Far Cry at least could buy you in if you're, like... If you're a fan of, like, um... I don't remember where the last game took place. It wasn't Colombia, right? Was it Cuba? But it's like, oh, shit, I like Cuba, so let me check this out. I was really into Far Cry 5 because I thought it was interesting. It was in Montana. I'm like, oh, that's neat. Um... And maybe it's the same for Assassin's Creed, where if you see something, you're like, Oh, pirates! I love pirates! I thought the idea of that Assassin's Creed with, like, George Washington as, like, this tyrant king was kind of neat, but not enough to play the game. Coney, did you talk about the Charles Martinet stuff? Oh, I did on my secret stream last night. I didn't hear. Uh, I mean, it's it's cool. I don't know. I don't know what there is to say about it. It's it's sad, I guess, but also, like, good for him. He should be able to retire. He should be able to retire. Like, I hope he's a millionaire from being Mario. I don't know if he is, but uh, it's fine. What's weird to me is, like, who's going to... If he voiced all the characters, is somebody else going to voice all the characters? Because that's hard. It's one thing to do a Mario. It's another thing to do a Mario, Wario, Luigi, Waluigi. That's hard, right? AI? Oh, dude, if they turn Charles Martinet into an AI, I'd be okay with that. Let him live forever. They're, they've just been rocking with the same Mario soundbite since 2003 anyway. Let him just rest in bites. He gets to live on forever as AI. That's fine. He gets to be on a hard drive forever. Corpo Coney. I'm just saying, it. hey, he's an ambassador. He's It's his wish, too. He's happy, too, apparently. He's still working with them. It's an amicable split up. Can we turn you into an AI? Sure. Yeah. Please. I've already thought about opening a cameo and saying whatever people want me to say. I Just... Well, no, never mind. Don't do an AI, because then if we do that, then I can't make money off the cameo. Wow, now I understand the problem. I don't like AI anymore. I get it now. I'm actually against AI. <laughs> huh. I get it. I see. Once it affects me, then I understand. Voice is me. Fans here at Gamescom this year. Hello, and Jasmine. I have you right here. Sorry, go to for you. 
this come now to quest levels and loot at Gamescom Epics. For what? For what games? Lady all by the head more and games out than for. Well, now I'm joined <laughs> by the one and only Harada san. All right. The of Tekken. What? Okay, I, I, that's probably not funny if you watch it, but for me, she just came out and said you can download levels and then left. <laughs> Didn't say what game. Oh, the producer of Tekken. Uh, you guys have come all this. Harada is also kind of short, isn't he? This way from He's Japan. also tiny. These two are always together. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I forgot you could open the door. Hello. Say hi, chat. Okay, good night. Can you close the door? Okay. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> My mom is watching her. She's spending time with uh, with grandma. And Dee Dee went to the bathroom and she stormed in here. <laughs> Dark spirit has invaded. Yeah. And to deliver These two are always together. This is like a bulk and skull situation, right? He always forgets she can open doors. Bro, kids are weird. They didn't used to be able to do that. That's a new thing. Kids be learning new things all the time. I know he's translator, but they're also like... They, they work together, right? They're both producers, right? It's like Miyamoto and Bill Trinan. Aw. For something special to Gamescom. Yeah. What do we got, Harada? What the fuck are these jeans? Uh, they say like something that. special to Gamescom. Yeah. What do we got, Harada? Harada. <laughs> is that is that law? That's law there, right? I love law. I feel like Jeff at that moment like was like, oh, why did I, that sounded weird. Why did I say it like that? Like by total accident. I've done that on stage. It's the character select? Yeah, it's got law on it, though. Law, martial law, that's it. Off the battle mechanics and, and new uh, gameplay, but today we have an all new uh, mode for uh, to show you today. That shit better be volleyball. No volleyball, no buy. Tekken bowling? Do they still do goofy modes? I haven't played Tekken in forever, but they used to have like volleyball, bowling. Um, they used to have a beat em up too. Does Seven have anything? Bowling is in 7? Okay. That's neat. Tekken is weird because I feel like other fighting games are... It's... It feels like other fighting games are goofy in the game. It feels like Tekken takes itself very seriously in the game, but has modes around it that are goofy. Meanwhile, other games are goofy within the gameplay itself. Although that's not true because in Tekken you can have a pizza and throw it at a guy. Never mind. I don't know what to think. I just feel like when I look at Tekken, it's very serious. Of course, Tekken has like a bear, a dinosaur, a kangaroo, yeah. But they're always shitty, so you don't see them for real. Up until now, but this brand new mode is kind of the story that focuses on you as the player. And uh, it covers the arcade scene, which is, you know, a classical atmosphere that uh, people our generation actually got to experience firsthand. Oh, they're doing like a story mode? Player, uh, like a career mode? Oh, dude, so what if you get to make your character? Uh, as you progress through that story it's just world line, tour again? Uh, you'll, you'll experience some all new gameplay that actually has some uh, AI kind of infused learning uh, aspects to it. And uh, it's really exciting, and we hope that uh, you'll enjoy it. Why don't we right, cancel so them? Look at the brand new trailer for Check It 8. Thanks, guys. Putting AI in a video game? <laughs> That's a, there's a very funny idea there.
I hate the way Paul looks now. Dude, Phoenix looks like shit in this game. And not like Ken, where he's like disheveled. He looks bad. I want Paul out of the game. 32 is still a lot of characters. I know that's like way down, but like that's a lot, dude. Let's go. Who, I feel like I should know who that is. A shulk. Single player arcade quest. Oh, so we're not pretending like the game is real. The, the game is still fake. Oh. So instead of being in the game and fighting Street Fighter people or Tekken people, you are playing the game in the game about that. Okay. Sure. <laughs> that seems that seems like a very strong move. I don't know who gave him that. You miss classic Paul? Oh hell yeah. No, he still looks weird. No, I don't like that. Make him young again. I think it's the age. He looks too old. I don't like that. He looked cooler when he was younger. Mouth is weird? Yeah, I, he is not. He, he, something about making him look more realistic has made him more uncanny. Something is fucked up with Paul Phoenix. I don't know what's wrong with him. Not into it. <laughs> cool. Is Mokujin still in the games? I like Mokujin. He is he still there random? I think Mokujin is a really cool there idea. There you have a Tekken 8 coming in January 2024. All cool. right, I'm now joined by Shelby Carlton and Dave Swenson from Sledgehammer because on November 10th, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 arrives and today you guys are going to be the first audience in the world to see some raw real gameplay from the camp. What do you mean skip? For Kawa Duty? Yeah. <laughs> now that I'm an exclamation mm, point. Yeah. Here's my required monthly fifty dollars donation that all punctuation level subs definitely pay. Yeah, thank pace. you, Habitful. Yeah, once you hit an exclamation point or a question mark, you are required to up your donation to fifty dollars to stay in the exclusive double diamond platinum club of uh Coney viewers. So thank you, Habitful. For paying me the fifty dollars, first person to do it, which it actually gets you up into the triple diamond, um, ultra black exclusive, uh, Coney Club, um, deluxe. Congratulations. Pain, uh, Dave Shelby, welcome to Gamescom. What can you tell us about uh, modern? Dude, when I was at one of those influencer things, I told you that I I had to do a secret influencer thing, um, a few weeks ago. I met with a a guy. Who had who got a Chipotle black card, and I was like, "What is that?" And he said, "Uh, it's unlimited Chipotle." And I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> holy shit!" You just you give them the card, and they're just like, "Yeah, here you go." Outrageous! It was not Say Jam. I don't think Sajam would have the Chipotle black card. I don't think they would do that. Modern Warfare 3. Eh? Well, first of all, Jeff, it is awesome to be here. Modern Warfare 3 this year just is works the in Chipotle. package. Sajam has a Panera black card. Maps, all from the original Modern Warfare 2. 
These maps have been modernized. Why are, Why don't we want to watch Modern Warfare? I feel like it's kind of funny, right? It'll be kind of funny. To work with she said ass. And one of the myths, the, so we are just... What are those? Talked about. Open the eye. You can go in quiet. You can there. But if you want to go in loud, open combat missions will support it. Even use your favorite kill streaks in campaign. Work seamlessly with... I want to show you an exclusive first look at one of these epic cinematic missions. How do you make these better? Because I feel like the, the graphics have, have kind of hit a peak. It just has to be gameplay, right? I guess it just has to be gameplay. And I don't mean like these graphics, like pre-rendered or whatever. I mean like in-game graphics. Like, I'm not going to be able to tell the difference really. Actually, no, this does look good. I don't think it's going to look like this. Good open move. world campaign? How do you do an... Never mind, that's a dumb question. I was going to say, how do you do an open world campaign uh, uh, war game? Because it feels like you, you can't be open world because the enemy is known. Uh oh Ads are coming! I used all my snoozies! Here come the ads. If you don't want ads, subscribe with Twitch Prime. If you don't have Twitch Prime, it's only $4.99 a month. No ads for an entire month. I'm dropping the ad bomb, and you can't stop me. No man alive can, except Jeff Bezos, but he wants me to drop it. Subscribe right now. Help us hit the sub goal, which we're only a one away from, and you won't get no ads. You can see Modern Warfare 3. Mods, give them the ads. Don't worry, if, you, if you're about to get ads, so are the subs. <laughs> They're going to get a quick one-minute ad about one of my favorite products. Thank you, JR. <laughs> the no KG mode is so good. All right, uh, I think I've seen this, right? Oh, no, it was the one where they were on a boat. It was also raining on the boat level, but this is a castle. So much more to share with you, but first, here's an update. I'm just not a Call of Duty guy, man. I just can't. ...on Nightingale, the new shared world survival crafting game from Inflection. After a few years of waiting, it's finally time to find out the early access release date for Steam and Epic Store. Wilds await. Portal and... Uh... Struck by woe and lacking supply. Oh, this is the survival game with the... I remember this now. This is that steampunk-looking ass with the Bioshock portals and the, the in-the-sky thing. I don't... Yeah. Steps. Fantasy Rust, yeah. February... Uh-oh, time to do some research. You know what we do here. Hmm... No Wikipedia. X Bioware devs. <laughs> oh, it's Gram Blue. What is Gram Blue? Like, I see fighting games and MMOs, and like, is it like a anime? It's an anime. Mobile game? Gotcha. Okay. Open the gate. That shit looked like Xenoblade. Beg your forgiveness. Stop. Protect. All right. Hey everyone. <laughs> that that was very jarring. To go from this to that, just a real person with low quality cam. Mm. Very jarring indeed. But not as jarring as this seg. Guys, check out Drift. Drift is a product that goes. In your car, it could go a lot of places. Drift actually do, they, they do a good job of keeping your car fresh. There's a wood freshener, a stone freshener, a metal freshener. Are you sick of the artificial scents and flavors of fresheners that you get for your car or anywhere else all over the place? I hate that shit. And that's why I like Drift. Drift sends you a little wood freshener or stove freshener or something like that, and it's coated in oils, and it smells good for a very long time. It's all the good stuff, none of the bad, and it comes right to your door. So it says $9.95, but I think you get a discount if you use my link. Can somebody use my... Can somebody post... Hold on. 
Uh, there it is. Thank you. Uh, right here. It's nope. The it's the same price. I, I do I not source TikTok? Think of the TikTok campaign. Yeah, Drift. Uh, they make your car smell good, and it's a great product. It's very discreet. Just goes right up there. Nobody will even know that you have it, and it's a good thing to smell. I love Drift. It's only nine ninety five. You have so many different flavors: amber, cabana, coffee, grove, miltique, PSL, PSL, pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin spice latte. Fellas, it's almost fall. Check it out. Ladies love it. Or pine. Check out Drift for your car or anything else. They also make other stuff like candles like that. See? I would just recommend the freshener. Check out Drift by clicking the link below the stream right now. What are the stone scents? Amber Cabana Coffee Grove Miltik Pumpkin. Pumpkin stone. Check it out. Gamescom. How long do they last? Uh, I don't know. Drift freshener lasting? I don't know. I think six months, three months? I don't want to lie to you. Look it up. Maybe a couple weeks? According to Drift, the scent block should last around 30 days. Okay, so 30 days. Mine has lasted longer. I've had it for two months and I still smell it. It's, it's a lot weaker, but yeah. Um, Gina Torres here. I play General Kierkin. Game. Jack. Oh, is this that uh, Immortal game or whatever that just came out? Whatever it was. You know what's weird? So, I don't know if you guys follow game reviews, but I do. Wait, did I not get a Fort Solace key? Somebody reached out to me about trying this game, and then I forgot I forgot all about it. They didn't... Damn it, I wanted to try it. Oh, man. I didn't know it came out. Shit. So, you know, I try to keep up with reviews, right? And if you guys, like, follow stuff, usually GameStop or GameSpot goes low and IGN goes high. But GameSpot gave Texas Chainsaw a 9, and IGN gave it a 6? Which was like kind of weird, because usually they they like it's it's the other way around. But the reason that I bring it up is because Gamespot gave this a five and IGN gave it an eight. So I don't know what the, they can't agree on anything anymore. Usually it's like kind of close, right? But like I don't know where we're at now. Usually I can get a sense for what again. Like Baldur's Gate is a ten everywhere. Everybody loves Baldur's Gate, right? But. Sometimes I just can't get a sense of it. And IGN 6 is like a 2 out of 10. Yeah, IGN are very charitable. No question. Coney, do you play Baldur's Gate 3? No, no. There's too much to play already. I'm not trying to get addicted. And I know that I would. Dude, I never even played Ghost Trick. Ghost Trick came out and I forgot. There's so much shit out, man. That was Immortals of Avium, which is out today. And next up, we're going to step into the world of the Hoyoverse. And I am here with... Oh, boy! The Hoyoverse! Jen Yu Lee, the producer... Thank you. An urban fantasy APRG. Wait, I think I've seen the trailer for this, and it didn't look bad. Right? I think this trailer came up before, and it didn't look that bad. For real. Bounty game? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Pay me and I'll love it. I will love it. An ARPG, bro? Come on. That's a dog. <laughs> oh, man. Show me the purchasable women. Which woman will you buy, chat? Or dog? You want the dog? That shit is Mr. Driller. That's not the game, though, right? Show me the game. Well, I was gonna say, damn, an ARPG sounds kind of fun. But then I realized Genshin is an ARPG, isn't it? That shit's kind of soulsy, like in an abstract way, right? 
It's slower, but... You wouldn't call Genshin an ARPG? I would. JRPG is more like Honkai, which is like, you know, turn-based and shit. And the game specials. Okay, no, not that. Not that, because I, I want to experience it myself when it shows up on my bounty board. Can't wait to try it. Is this Genshin, right? Is that Genshin? I don't know what game that is. It doesn't say. <laughs> Oh, this is Star Rail? Oh, even better. Can't wait to give it a shot. Anniversary and the game just released its fifth Dude, I'm stuck in the Hoyoverse. Let me out! This is Genshin. It's an RP Genshit in pants. <laughs> just came up with that. G adventure where he plays a dark crusader who can access a parallel dimension. The Umbral. Here is Did you say Honkai? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of pose is this, Jeff? Brand new story trailer for Lords of the Fallen. <laughs> he put his heel up. He's so excited. Bro is ecstatic. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Slay. A bit silly. Sonic Idol animation. You know what I was thinking about today? People don't be doing that Link animation anymore, do they? That Link Idol animation? There's a whole slew of gamers at my schools that would do that shit. With the boots, or you scuff the boots. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Gamers of a certain generation, they're like the weird kids would do that shit. You guys know what I mean. You don't know the animation? You know the one. Where he kicks his boots, tapping him into the ground. Yeah. I don't think people do that anymore, because I don't think Link does that anymore, but... If you were, like, young during Ocarina of Time, a lot of weird kids love that shit. Demonstrate for us? Dude, I can't, you can't see my feet. Nice try. <laughs> not for free. Not here. I look upon you with Th this was the dead game, right? They made Lords of the Fallen, and then it did bad, and now they're rebooting it, right? And they just made it look more soulsy. And yet I offer you something they will not. Cool, man. This looks good, though. Have had to shape their own eh, yeah. See what they have made of it. War, greed, hatred, suffering. It looks fine. Chaos. I just. What's the differentiator? You know what I'm saying? Moths? He's a moth guy? Now you win no darkness. I'm getting sick of so many souls likes burn out. I don't think there's that me well, I don't know, I guess there are. I feel like if it's done well, it's fine. It's just I need we don't have enough souls games in different settings. Like there's been a sci-fi one, but it wasn't great. There's been um now there's a Pinocchio one, right? Like, we need different places. Now there's Wukong. <laughs> a pirate Souls game. You are in the presence of a god I've already told you what Souls game I want. I've, you know what I want, so. And remember, you look into the shadows. It might be the shadows look back. Good one. That dude is 12 years old, and that is so deep. Yo! Old Sonic! I love Old Sonic, but you know who I love more? Old Tails! Oh my god, he is so goddamn cute, and he never says a word. He zips it. Shut the fuck up. Don't say anything, man. Shut up. I loved Sonic before he could talk. Don't say anything. Oh, this is cool. Old Knuckles! Does it say... He does chuckle. Well, he doesn't chuckle. But he does... Wait a minute. I never realized that in his song he says he doesn't chuckle, but that's all Old Knuckles did was chuckle. That's weird.
I never, I never made that. Can I know this sounds like a bit that I like rehearsed? I swear to God, I never put that together. Because in his old game, that's all he did is he would laugh. But now he doesn't chuckle. He used to chuckle. That was chuckles. Oh, okay. Chuckles the robot knuckles. Yeah. Literally, the first thing Knuckles does in his first appearance is chuckle. Well, no, he punches Sonic in the back of the head, and then he chuckles. <laughs> chuckle is a funny word. Who invited her? <laughs> He's not happy to see her. Why is Amy's identity Hammer? I, <laughs> I guess they didn't have anything else. Sonic is fast, Tails flies, Knuckles glides, Amy hammer. That's fine, sure. I don't know. I can't believe this isn't online. I, I, I just, there's, why? What the hell is that? Oh, battle mode looks funny. This is going to be in the mystery tournament next year. If I hold one at SmashCon again, the mystery uh, platform fighter, we're doing that. <laughs> I can't believe this isn't online. Like, it can't be that hard, right? To do a, a four-player platformer like that. I, am I stupid? Like, this is online, but co-op is local. That's what I'm saying. Is Why can't the co-op be online? I feel like it shouldn't be that hard for a game that not demanding? I don't... The new Mario is an online. I know! Why doesn't anybody do it right? The difference is the new Mario is going to be on the Switch, which fucking blows. This is going to be on Steam. You have no excuse. Looks amazing. October is going to be a very busy month for new releases. Uh, uh, it looks like a good game, but I'm going to play it sad and alone, and I feel like I'm not going to have as much fun. And yes, there will be full four-player co-op gameplay in Sonic Superstars. But... Uh, that wasn't... <laughs> he said that like that was a big reveal. Yeah, I saw it, Jeff. Thanks. That is not all the Sonic news we have for you tonight at Opening Night Live. Really? Because we also have a special update for you on Sonic Frontiers. No. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. I don't know. I never beat that game. I got to the last area, and I was like... And then I realized I didn't ha I didn't remember the controls of the buttons. So, I can't go back to a Sonic game to beat it. I'm stuck. Hello again. It's so amazing being here at Gamescom with all the game devs, <laughs> publishers, and of course, the fans. Uh-huh. <laughs> Goodbye. Gamescom <laughs> is the world's largest She's just so appreciative. Event. Just check out this footage from last year. There are so many opportunities to celebrate games and connect is with that your Beetlejuice? friends. And earlier, what game is he from? I mentioned the Gamescom Beetlejuice for the NES. <laughs> where you can see amazing game-inspired costume just like this. Link Zelda. That's like Nancy Kerrigan, right? Now I'm here. Is that like a StarCraft thing? Mochi Dragon. Rainbow Raven. Oh. Zaza. <laughs> and Sephira. That's Zelda. She doesn't play any video games. Fake Mochi gamer Dragon. girl. Can you tell me how you choose a character? That's Zelda. The thing is, by the character design, and the third one is... No way, that's Zelda. Damn it, I missed the joke. <laughs> I had a funny opportunity. <laughs> Does it have a little challenge in the call? Imitate... Zaza's Michi? The, like having... Okay. Before I go, I would like to tell you about the Gamescom event arena. Friday through Sunday, there will be live shows from this stage right here in this hall. That's so cool. Thank you, Jasmine. It's great to have you here. 
All right, right now we've got a first look at the first Descendant, a next generation action looter shooter from Nexon. The crossplay open beta is going to be held September 19th to 25th. Oh, that reminds me, another trailer came out that I wanted to watch. Coney is such a hater today. It's a fucking games conference. You know what you were going to watch. This is how shit is. <laughs> I can't even complain though, dude. We've had so many good games this year. I'm not a hater, actually. You know how many games I've enjoyed this year? You know how many praises I've sang about all the good shit we've had? This year has been fantastic. Name seven. Name five? I'll name ten. Uh, Pizza Tower, Pikmin. Uh, was there a new Resident Evil game this year? Oh my god, there's been so many. I don't think so, right? Hasn't been a new Resident Evil. Uh, the fuck, the RE4, that's what it is, RE4 Remake, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. Seriously, uh, Cyberpunk is great, uh, Cyberpunk, Bomb Rush. Uh, the fucking, the Street Fighter, right? Uh, and then the other game, uh, Remnant is pretty good, Baldur's Gate, which I don't play, which everybody went crazy about. Atomic Heart was okay, I wouldn't call it great, but I would say it was fine for what it did, right? Um, Tears of the Kingdom, which I wasn't into. And this is all just shit that I'm not into, that people like, right? Hi-Fi Rush. See? Look at that. And I came up with all those. The Descendants are risking their lives for us, for Albion. Jedi Survivor? Uh, no. <laughs> Jedi Survivor was kind of an L. Rise I don't know about that one. Is. Beat the hater allegations. Hell yeah, I told you. Can't even name games he likes. I have to think about it. There have been so many, I just can't think of them. You like the Atomic Fart over Jedi? You know what it is? Uh, novelty is a big deal for me. Jedi Survivor was just the same thing again, but worse to me. Atomic Fart was like, damn, they're really trying something here. Even if it wasn't good, I was like, you know what? I respect the attempt. The I'll give it up. This could wipe out also, Mortal Kombat's coming out. That's going to be good. Super Mario's coming out. That's going to be good. And that's a Kony guarantee. Despite their efforts, humanity is still at risk of extinction. Armor Core Six. That might be an L, bro. I don't know. I was watching gameplay. I can't make heads or tails of that shit. I just don't... I can't not be a hater, man. If I saw this in 2015, my jaw would drop. I just think back to Gotham Knights. Damn! Dude, that Suicide Squad game still hasn't come out. I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy... I forgot that got delayed. We're still waiting on that. They're cooking it. Yeah. That was the four-player loot shooter with DC. Oh, man. They had to rethink that shit. Yeah. I thought it came out months ago. No, no, no. Because Gotham Knights came out, and it was kind of the same thing. And that shit did not do well. Although they sent me a nice package to play it. So thank you, Warner Brothers Games. Hashtag sponsored. But, uh, yeah, I that was... Uh, I thought that game had come out, but... Didn't they delay Suicide Squad because the whole world clowned on it? I I don't know if it was a response or if they said it wasn't... Or I think they said that they were going to do it anyway, but I think it was, like, clear cope. But maybe I'm wrong. I think it was, like, very clearly, like, uh-oh, people hate this shit. <laughs> That's why it sucks that games take so long to make, dude. Like, by the time that the trend is dead, you're, like, halfway through a game cycle. You're like, oh, you guys don't like this anymore? Uh-oh. Now you gotta retool the whole thing. Trends move fast, dude. Can't wait for your bounty? Me neither. <laughs> Listen, I'll try any game. And I'll tell you it's good for a certain type of player. Every game could be enjoyed by somebody. Even Zombie Bejeweled. 
Some people like that on their phones. Nice way to kill time. Gotham Knights might be fun if you're trying to get three players together, three of your friends, and have a mindless romp around Gotham City collecting cool colored loot. Sure, go for it. Right? Could I recommend better games? Yes, but not for free. Every game has been someone's favorite. Yes, love that quote. Every game is somebody's favorite game. And I don't think you guys should shit on games unnecessarily. I think that's a toxic trait. Except for this game. This game look ass ass. <laughs> Surface world. Good. Everything's fine. Great. How are you? Tired, but in a good way. Busy. That shit, Zazu, Zabu, about you. Abzu, that's it. Abzu. <laughs> I told you. I forgot. I... Zaza. <laughs> I still need time. Time to My bad. What, Stan? Because... Zazu is a condom brand. There's no fucking way that's real. Zazu is a Dutch brand developing products for children. Zazu is the bird from Lion King. See? Because as far as I can see, you're just treading water. We're upping the extraction rate. <laughs> Stop undoing! Not like that! Maximum output. It meant like furniture! I don't expect you to understand. Suffering. I need you with me here now. I will be. Is this like a Firewatch type game? I promise. That shit, Firewatch. You're right there, on the verge of something special. Game Pass. Game Pass. Damn, Game Pass got a big pop. Joining me now. Dude, yeah, I don't know what happened to me. I I got an offer to play this game, and that shit just died in my inbox. What happened? Now, a Troy Baker, I would have played Clark, this. Julia Brown, the stars of Fort Solace, which is out today. It's got Troy Baker in it. On PlayStation and PC. Guys, welcome to Gamescom. Oh, uh, this is man. so fun. Tell us a bit about this project. What can you tell oh us Oh, my about? God. Look at these people. You guys are insane. Yeah. yeah. Wait. And look at these people. You guys are insane. Is that Arthur Morgan? Yeah, yeah, I had the same question. That is him. Insane. Damn, they got everybody on this shit. I, we've been able to talk about this game for a while. I think the thing that I'm most excited about is for people to explore these characters. Um, at, the, at the core of this experience is, is unraveling. Troy Baker is like a, like a stretched out Bradley Cooper. The mystery of Fort Solace and like the Mario 64 had to by <laughs> discovering these characters. I shouldn't do and, that. I hate it when people do that to learning me. Learning about their stories and that's <laughs> as actors, that's something that we just want to. His ears are very in. oily. Yeah, he's game. very shiny. Roger, yeah, it's, it's an independent game. That's made true. By a pretty small team, right? Ten people, yeah. two years, zero delays. <laughs> oh, he just talks like Arthur now. <laughs> we are very excited to share yeah. with you. Oh, he's just he has the Arthur brain. Whoa, I see. Fort okay. Solace today. All right, yeah. It was a real joy to work on, and it's a joy to see what indie studios are capable of in this day and age. It's a real thrill. And, and he sounds like he's really straining to get his words out. And an amazing cast. Like he has to push uh, a lot of air. Game. Juliet, this is, uh, you know, we know you from a lot of great, you know, film, television work. Uh, it's a thick voice. Thing, how did you get involved in this project? Yeah, it's my first ever video game project, yeah. so I'm so excited. Oh, I was going to say, I know the other two. I don't know her. What is she from? And the answer is nothing yet. Thank you. And to get to work beside two of the best in the game world, nonetheless. So I just and me. <laughs> watch these guys and learn. And you got, I mean, you guys did full on, I mean, performance capture. We see yeah. a little tease of your character there, Julia. What can you tell us about kind of the, what we're going to see in this launch trailer? Because it is really, it's an amazing She is from Fort Solace. Right? Oh. Sort of, uh, you know, an independent game, but done on a big production value. Yeah. Go, Roger. You know, one of the best things about. All right. I just, yeah. I don't care about Senior voice engineer acting. Senior engineer away from. Is there no sign of security? No. This was like the Dead Space uh, conference, right? Where everything was like a horror game in space. You guys remember that? 
Every game was in space and scary. I think there may have been an incident here. What the hell is have I missed Nasby discussion? Not yet. And let Central handle it. Haven't looked at Nasby yet. What's the bad guy here? <laughs> this just looks like the ship is malfunctioning. Oh, never mind. That was an alien. Okay. Very dramatic. Yeah. Coney, go back. There was a very cringe and funny moment in that interview. Are you sure? Which he signed. And there's there's a hole in the wall Stop that was work. made by my butt. Yes. Which he signed. <laughs> and Julie, and I, I know you're, it's a little mysterious what your role is in this game, right? Is that it? What? And I walked into the foyer, and there I see Troy's butthole. I mean... No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I found it. I found it. The oh. narrative experience, right? This sort of, uh, you know, an independent oh, game with done man. production value. Yeah, go Roger. You know, one of the best things about working with Troy, I remember coming in from lunch and we were doing the mocap and I walked into the foyer and there I see Troy's butthole. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I wouldn't expect to see that in a foyer. I, is that like on a on a portrait, like a statue? It's the. I mean, the... oh, dude, look at Trey. What the fuck is this guy saying? The hole is butt made. Ah, ah. <laughs> when we were... Okay, we when I say we threw ourselves, oh. in this, we literally did. And there's there's a hole oh. in the wall that was made by my butt, yes. which he signed. <laughs> Julie, the German crowd did not think that was funny. I know you're, it's a little mysterious what Dude, the crowd could have saved that. The crowd didn't react if the crowd was like um if the crowd like ha 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 it could have alleviated the tension. <laughs> I don't know. Your role is the crowd just my honest chat. Ah, das Puppenfahrten. Ha ha ha. This game, right? But we have to play to find Just translate it a little bit. Get a little <laughs> That's why you need a translator. The announcement about a new game from Focus Entertainment and Saber, the continuation of the ultimate off-road experience. That shit better not be dirt. Discoveries. Do they make dirt? Is that the game? Each step. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Death Stranding in a car. All right. Stop the crew motor fest. A Dude, they're still making these? Vibrant open world welcomes you to the ultimate festival for car lovers, motor fest. Here is the brand new trailer. Ah, come on, Jeff. Come on, you know me. Ah, not the crew. That's not me, Jeff. I don't think so, Jeff. Motor Fest comes out September 14th, and the brand new Lamborghini Revelto is on the cover and playable. And we have a special o &L announcement for everyone watching between September 14th and 17th. A free trial will be available of the game. Cyberpunk 2077. Did people turn on this game? I think people are like it now. Phantom Liberty on September 26th. People love this now. The studio is ready to share a new look at the wide range of overhauled mechanics coming to the game. And as you're about to see, a lot has changed. Let's check this out. Good for them. It's all right now. As much as I talk shit about Cyberpunk and I hated it, I did 100% that game. So. Okay. You got me. Yeah. Let's go. Why? I don't know. I think I really, I was itching bad for this type of game at the time. I was really itching for like a turn off your brain, walk through an open world and shoot shit. I had the itch. Skittles game, yeah. But I don't have that for DLC. I'm not going to come back to this. I wonder how many people come back for DLC. Especially when it's this late. Maybe it gets new players in? I'm always curious. Not a bad idea. Okay, I'm ready. 
Get this show on the road. I remember the combat music distinctly. Because <laughs> that shit was playing all the time. Jesus! Dude, this presentation is violent! Oh my god! That guy was begging for his life! This shit is dystopian! Sounds like I'm slamming my head in an electrical circuit. <laughs> That's the future, baby. That's what we all listen to in the future. I'm closing the gig and sending you a little You throw a Korg synthesizer into a hot tub. And whatever sounds come out, you dance to. Someone dispatched a hunter. Good luck. What was the thing about cars in the cyberpunk? There was something funny about cars. Was it they just ran into each other all the time? I don't remember. <laughs> uh, there was something funny about cars when the game first launched. Like the, the like vehicles were just slap. Like the the AI was wrong, so they just kept running into each other constantly. Oh yeah, cops spawned when you looked at them. So if you turned around, they would just appear. I forgot about that. Yeah. Cyberpunk on launch was very funny. If I could play an unupdated PS4 Cyberpunk, I think I might have a good time. At least for like 30 minutes and then it would get old. But it's a fun novelty. Does PS4 Cyberpunk still exist? Yeah, I well, no, actually, I don't know. Because they took it off the store, but maybe they still have it physical. But I think they updated it so it doesn't run like shit anymore. It still doesn't run good, but it doesn't run as bad. People just like it again because the anime brought in a new audience. Apparently, that was good. Everybody's talking about that. It's so close, and here to talk a little more about what we've just seen is Yulia Primok, gameplay designer from CD Projekt Red. You're like... Welcome to Gamescom. Hey, I'm hey, I'm excited to be here today. Well, we're, we're excited to get in depth about what we just saw because there are a lot of uh, we even. St so, for example, with our absolutely redesigned. Damn, I was gonna make fun of Jeff. I was about to be like, "Wow, he called her Yulia, but that's a J. I can't, but it's actually a Y." The redesigned perk system. The Polish are crazy. Sorry, that will allow also becoming. Uh, thank you so much. He Yulia. cuts her off at the end. Gotta keep it moving. <laughs> a lot of what we've just seen in the trailer will also be coming to Cyberpunk base game for free for current gen consoles and PC. Okay. 2.0 update. Exa exactly. All right. Well, I cannot yes. wait uh, to check it out uh, <laughs> next month. I'm going to go look at it right now. Please get off the stage. Uh, thank you so much, Yulia, for thank joining you. us here at Gamescom. Yulia. Yeah, he had to keep moving. Throw was behind on time, surely. Christopher Judge right. moment, dude. That was so funny. I will never forget that night. That was amazing. Tonight, we've also got an update on the science fantasy strategy game Stormgate and a first look. Love science factions, fantasy strategy. Stormgate is a spiritual successor to classic real-time strategy games like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2. Every time I come to Gamescom, I am amazed to collaborate. For those who are in this place, companies Not and active on behalf Oh, it's this fucking guy! The head of it's my boy Philly S! <laughs> the playground bully, who is now a big boy CEO. My boy Big Phil in the building! I did not expect to see him. I love him. Phil looks like he only wears gamer like swag merch shit that he gets at E3. I'm I love this Phil. Award on Live Phil reaction is the same all the time. 
have I love him. He 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 has the face of a GoldenEye 64 guard talented all the time. Team at Xbox that has worked very hard to put Didn't he sad post about Xbox? I think he did. Yeah. He was like we met, we lost the worst year to lose and that's why we're suffering now. <laughs> it's like Jesus. Relax, Phil. Man. And that's why we have Game Pass. Only thing keeping us afloat. Tools in the hands of developers. Full Xbox showcase is tomorrow. I can't wait to watch that on stream and not as it happens. To allow this <laughs> world a more... Cool. Founder in an incredible year, but you're in... Last epoch? The last epoch. <laughs> Bro. There's something so funny of me about, like, you know, having the suit, getting all get up, and then just wearing the hat. Absolutely. <laughs> that, that doesn't. It's, it's so clashing. That is such a, a ghastly purple, right? Thanks so much for having me. Just a die hard action. I mean, like, I'm not against it. I'm wearing a fucking a very cyan bright hat right now, but it's very funny. Jeff tonight has a unique mechanic. It is such like a marketer bro fit. You know what I mean? And the Rune Master is going to be joining us September 7th and will be available to play here all week at Gamescom. I've been waiting for the Rune Master, bro. What? Is that Reddit? Oh, it's for Last Epoch. No thanks. Thanks, Fabio Prime. No, no, no. Is that a Diablo? A really cool game. Speaking of cool games. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, how about a little bit more enthusiasm? Games, please welcome the winner of best mobile game last year at the Game Awards, Ben Brode from Marvel Snap. Hello, Ben. Oh! Oh, this is the guy I see in the YouTube ads. Oh, it's whoa, you. Whoa, whoa. Him and that underworld doctor. I, I know we won mobile game of the year. You did, yeah. But we just finished rebuilding the entire game to run natively on PC. This guy's voice is crazy. Okay. It looks it looks insane. Uh, and I'm here to tell you that like literally just like five minutes ago, five. we launched the game <laughs> on Steam. Okay, it's on Steam. He's so, he's so enthusiastic. I'm kind of getting with him. Belt. Respect to go is no disrespect. I'm sure he's, a, hey, I'm sure he's a cool guy. Everybody that I see talk about him say that he's great. Oh, yes. That's fantastic. Uh, now, I know any A little walk in, in on it? Twitch, if you a watch cheeky bit of walk in, yeah. Tonight, there's a special Twitch I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm not hating. And right now, we've I think he's very excited. He gives me the vibe as somebody who got to make the game he always wanted and do it with Marvel, and now it's a huge success. So he is living off that high, and good for him. That is incredible success. Got an exclusive good for him, cinematic bro. to show you from Snap. Check it out. Literally, yes. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, dude, seriously. Imagine realizing your dream like that. You really love card games. You like Marvel. You put out a game, and then it bangs, and everybody loves it. Well done. Not me, though. I'm not playing that shit. I don't play cards. No, no, no. No Game Pass. I buy my games. Oh, cheap ass. Is this Armored Core? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Augmented human C four six two one has awakened. Dude, it does look good, right? It looks. I just don't like. It's from Soft, but it's a different uh, director, apparently. And it's a niche series that I've never played, and it looks very um, intimidating, let's say. But I do love the scale of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has a very good sense of scale. I'm not mad it's not Dark Souls. I just don't know if I'll like it if it's not Dark, uh, not Dark Souls. Doesn't mean that it's not good or that other people won't like it. It's just me. I'm shocked I like Dark Souls, eventually. Took me a couple times. Wait, it's the Sekiro director? Oh, never fucking mind. I am in there. Let's see how far they can fly on borrowed wings. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's an instant buy for me. I love Sekiro. 
Holy. <laughs> Miyazaki is a hack. Whoever that Sekiro guy was is a legend. I knew that would get you. Dude, Sekiro is probably my favorite one. It's so good. So Memories good. Form like scars. Fires of Ruby Tuby? <laughs> Fires of Ruby Tuesday. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what they did to that scream effect. But they need to dial back whatever digital effect they put on that. Oh my god. Bro is in agony. Cut deep enough. Holy! You'll never fade. Or. <laughs> yeah! Be forgiven. I ran. I begged. What the fuck is I this? Stole. What is the tone here? I survived. Is that Eminem? Guys, I got bad news. If you want to see the rest of this, you're going to have to sub. I'm so sorry. I hate to do it in the middle of one, but I don't have a snoozy. If you want to hear Eminem's next verse, you got to subscribe right now. Tier 1 or a Twitch Prime. I hate to do it right now, but there's no other way to get around it. Drop a Twitch Prime. Subscribe as soon as you can so you don't get the... Okay, the ads are up. See you soon. What the fuck is this? Uh, clearly not. <laughs> silent assassin. Ah! <laughs> How strong do you have to be to pick up a sword like that? Aren't those heavy as shit? Is it half? It's a half sword. Never mind. This music don't fit at all. Who tries to stop me. Whenever I hear like like rap or hip hop or whatever in a game trailer, it's usually like a huh, unless it's like it has to do with the game. Like I, I the one that I think of is Mortal Kombat. You remember that one? Uh, was it Future? I forget who it was, but they were in the. It was the Mortal Kombat one. It was, what? Savage, that was it. Twenty one Savage, yeah. I'll cut my own path through. I'll fight until I stand in the land of salvation. And like I got used to it, I was like, oh okay, I get it, but like Yeah, I'm not playing that. That was Warhaven and the Melee multiplayer PvP game will hit Steam early access on September twenty first. Melee multiplayer PV so that shit for honor? Might not be bad, actually. Next, I am so excited to welcome to Gamescom the Yo! creator of Mortal Kombat. Yeah! <laughs> I am so excited for this game. Everybody tells me not to like this game. Everybody says Mortal Kombat is shit. The animations look bad. The game is so gay. I don't believe them. I love Mortal Kombat, and I always will. All the way this dumb, Gamescom stupid, fun game. To it's so stupid. On I love it. Which ships in just a month. Please join me in welcoming to o and L Ed Boone. Bro is this guy is PTSD. Did you see that? He saw Please the guy get up. Watch his eyes. To o and L Ed Boone. He's scanning the audience. This motherfucker better not come up here. <laughs> this bald piece of shit better not come up here and talk about Bill Clinton. Ed Boone. He better not. Fancy seeing you here. I saw him at Evo. I didn't get a picture with him because why would I? But I was like, oh my god, he's here. It was cool. It was nice to see him. Just like it'd be nice to see a change in your car, in the freshener, to be specific. That's why you should check out Drift. That's tonight's sponsor. It's Drift. That's not your typical air freshener. These things go in your car, and they keep your car smelling nice all the time. 
for about a month or so, I think. But they can last a little bit longer if you use it right. They've got wood, stone, and metal fresheners. And you just put it, set it, and forget it. The wood and stone ones go over your visor, and the metal one, apparently, I guess this goes in your uh, on the vent, which is good. You've seen a lot of these before, I'm sure. But most of them smell kind of artificial and nasty and gross, at least for me. That's my experience. But guess what? You could check out Drift, and it's way better, as said by BuzzFeed, Design Milk, Uncrate, and Car and Driver. They also have candles, but I don't think you need to try those. Just do this. And if you're not sure which scent you want to do, that's okay. You can take a scent quiz, and you can find the scent for you. Get to sniffing. Which describes the sense you're drawn to? Fresh, woodsy, or indulgent? Leather chair or the beach? We go to the beach. Almost there, and then you send your email address. That's how they get you, and they're going to get you. I'm going to get you. If you don't buy Drift and subscribe to Drift, go below the stream and click the link that says uh, my name or use my code. I don't think you get a link. I don't think you get a, a discount or anything, but it would help me out a lot. Check out Drift, exclamation point Drift, or exclamation point car, or all the other stuff in the title. Give it a shot. Thanks, Drift. Here, uh, well, we had a lot of fun with you at Summer Game Fest reveal in the first No game. discount? I don't think so. Wait, it says use Coney for 55% off. Maybe. Hold on. Wait. Does it work? Oh, I would have to go through the whole thing. And why don't you guys try it? See if it works, everybody. Play of MK, and I Coney doesn't even know his own sponsor. It says 55% off. I just didn't try it. Every That's what it said for Semper, you too. Drop just gets crazier and crazier. 55 so is crazy. That's what I'm saying. It's like six bucks, bro. What? Four, 450. What did you bring to games, <laughs> A six dollar um, discount. Another probably our craziest trailer of all. You know, since we since we introduced the gameplay at Summer Games, Summer Game Fest, we were we couldn't believe the reaction. People and it def works. Game. Unironically, it does. I like it a lot. They've actually gotten their hands on the game. Which it's been nice for me because I, I genuinely hate most of those sense where it's like way too the strong. Main char characters and the cameo characters has been a riot, but this uh, this trailer Alpha we breeze. have here should uh, give you an even I'm better at the discount? idea oh. of just how. <laughs> insane things get with this game there are show me how insane in it, Ed. Uh, I gotta say, absolutely it insane you might say you guys are gonna enjoy it. Here it is. what flavor Mortal did you get i they gave me teak i think combat one the brand new trailer oh send me that let me see that shit i can't wait outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to earth realmers while our realms are at peace there damn are they're doing a lot of world building here for us to be at war is Lee May or whoever that the the new lady is she new, the one with the purple magic? I've never seen her before, but is she from an older game? General Shaw. She is not. No. Okay. From 3D era. Okay. Victor of the Tavarian War, conqueror of the Quatan Plains. Is that Shao Kahn? All of Outworld is grateful for his service. Is that Shao Kahn? No. Uh, he has. That's not Shao Kahn. General Shao. Who? But he doesn't have a hammer, but he's Shao Kahn. You would consign us to it's Shao, war. okay. Is that Sindel then? Because that's his... Better that than be Liu Kang's lapdog. Oh, I love Sindel. Did father teach you that war is the last resort? Do not forget that, General. Oh, I love Sindel. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. Mortal Kombat animations are great. Watch this one. In all fairness, I don't know how you make that better. I don't know how you make that one better. <laughs> the hair is not hitting you. Whatever, man. It's fine. She's the only fighting game character to ever fight with her hair. So, you know, they're kind of paving new ground. It's just that easy. <laughs> that one was for me. I take a lot of joy in that. I love that. Tony pretending to troll. <laughs> I did. Wait, was that? Is that Motaro? Oh, fuck it. Oh, he's magic? He disappears? 
Always was? What the fuck? I thought Motara was like a big centaur dude. I didn't know he was a fucking sorcerer. Him disappearing and reappearing is lame as hell. He's supposed to be strong. Why would he disappear? He's not scared. Magical ass horseman. Why does he disappear? I guess it's boss shit. By the way, I only just found out about Johnny Cage Fatal Blow today. Do you guys know what Johnny Cage's Fatal Blow is in Mortal Kombat 1? Have you guys seen that? <laughs> it's very silly. Nut punch? No, uh, it's not that. I'll show you in a second. It's funny. Oh, yeah, he shoots, like, beams out of his tail. Got you! Bro, is that all? Dude, these cameo fighters are so corny. Because, like, the other characters get all this cool stuff, and he just picks you up by your head and then punches you, right? I don't know. I know you get to do more, because, like, there are a couple things you can do with the assists, but, like, have him at least, like, headbutt you with his big head, you know? Once again, Not a to punch. My late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel. Let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. What the fuck? He is God. <laughs> How could he... Lou is God now? Yeah, but... Okay, never mind, never mind. I was gonna say, how could how could Earthrealm's champion be a fucking guy who possesses elemental, like, uh, acuity? Is that the word? Who, who can, like, channel elements. And then I remembered Liu Kang has a fireball, so... Earthrealm's champion is yeah, he... <laughs> never mind. <laughs> <laughs> is it me? Or is Earthrealm's champion scrawnier than usual? He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. <laughs> Harvesting? <laughs> I am ready, Your oh. Majesty. Whom shall I face? Oh, he is tiny. Raiden is small. But he is a tiny wonder! I don't like Raiden. I'm not a Raiden guy. We will destroy Champion Liu Kang, he will taste no victory. <laughs> oh, Mortal Kombat looks very funny. Is it? Am I coping, or does this look uh, stiffer than the last game? I felt like 11 looked a little smoother than this. Has it always looked like this? A little bit? I, I think 11 looked a little smoother, but maybe I'm making that up. Who was that? I didn't see them. Oh, is that Shang Tsung? Those two aren't friends. Shujinko. I'm just making up names now. Shujinko, uh, there he is. All right, cool. Dude, they're pulling a lot from 3D games. <laughs> love that. That's great. I love that move. I like what he did just now. That's fun. I like this music. Oh, not the horseman! <laughs> horseman has Aegis Reflector? What the fuck? Please do something cool. Yup, yup, I like that. Horse kick! That's fine, yeah. Yeah. Fine. What the fuck? He died. No idea how people play this game. It's very funny, but I can <laughs> never be good at them because the block button fucks with my brain so much. The block button is a little crazy. The block button in particular is something you need to get used to, but there's no cross-ups. So. 
Get off this frame. What are those? Are those bones? <laughs> bones. Okay. Joints. Yeah. Well, listen, I've never taken a body apart like that, so. Ow. This is so gratuitous. Ow! Oh, I bet that shit tickles. All that hair inside your body? Ugh. Poof your queen. <laughs> this is so fucked up. So, when she said that, this is gonna sound really stupid. I thought the hair was gonna come out of his mouth and, like, use him like a puppet and say, You are! <laughs> it's just... I thought this was a very, <laughs> very stupid game. Like, I, I, Mortal Kombat is always straddling that line between, like, hyper-violent and goofy as hell. Sindel is not a funny character, so I guess you wouldn't do that. But that's very, like, use him like a ventriloquism puppet, right? You know, like, I thought, she, I thought that was what she was going to do. What if it was Johnny? Dude, Johnny is the sickest guy of all. Like, when I watch these, Johnny seems like the biggest psychopath. Because everybody else is, like, from a different dimension where they... I'm going to get off this frame. And that one. And that one. Everybody else is from this different dimension where they prioritize, like, martial law and, and strength above everything and brutal combat and killing each other. But Johnny Cage is a normal guy from L.A., He's just a normal fucking guy who relishes in ripping your face off and your frontal lobe and then taking a picture with you. Like, Johnny is the most fucked up of all. You know what I'm saying? It's so weird to me. Like, there's something uncanny about it because everybody else is like, is like a warrior and he's just a human in normal clothes who is doing terrible things. Stryker is also funny. Yeah, but at least Stryker could be like, he could be like a cop gone mad, right? He's a cop who's crazy with power and is going to extreme lengths or whatever. Like, at least he he's supposed to be in a position of power and authority, at least in his mind. Johnny fucking Cage is an actor. <laughs> Why is he like that? Right? <laughs> Oh, the the link in chat. You're right. Let me. Descriptive Be audio made. option for fatalities. Punches through the victim's stomach and yanks out their guts. She clenches her fist and a purple spark of energy slithers along an intestine toward her victim. She kicks their head off and the spark explodes their severed head like a bloody firework. Fatality. Oh Lee my Lee god, Lee dude. Lee. <laughs> That's so good. I love that. I want that in every game. That's amazing. Dude, if I was blind and I had to listen to that shit, I would shut off the P... I, I'm shutting off the console right away. Not getting my points. Lee May punches through the victim's stomach and yanks out their guts. No, she doesn't. I'm out. Alt F4. Boo! Put that on tournament matches. We don't need commentators anymore. No more casters. She clenches her fist and a purple spark of energy slithers along an intestine toward her victim. Oh my god, dude. That's funny. <laughs> That's very good. I can't... I, I feel like this doesn't have many retweets because uh, of it, the... <laughs> I don't really want to subject people to this without consent. Um... But you know what? It's very funny. That should have had 20k retweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't want to put uh, realistic gore on my timeline. I'm not trying to make people suffer because I'm silly. Why is the intestine attached to your head? It's the esophagus or something, right? It's your throat that goes into your tummy, I think. <laughs> oh, they're going to do it. <laughs> So, uh, this dance is a parry. The whole thing. And if, I think you could pop it, or, oh, they're kissing. I think you could pop it early. I think you can let it go early and, uh, 
he punches, but <laughs> I love that so much. It's kind of a shitty fatal. Well, d but I've heard a lot of people have hit it, but I'm sure it won't be good in a little bit. I just love the ha <laughs> ha. It's very funny. Yeah, you could just jump over him. It's unblockable fully charged. Yes, yeah, so you can't just stand there and block it. Johnny Cage is such a cool fucking character, man. I uh, I love him. I'm fully bought in on him. Wait, did they boo? That's so cool. Johnny has so many cool things about him. If a cameo comes in and hits the other guy during the cutscene, he has a phone in his hand and he's taking a video and then he throws it away. That's so cool, man. They really gave him a lot of character. Is he getting star power there? Oh, he's just being silly. Johnny is so fucking cool, man. I love him. I love Kano, but I don't like old Kano. Honestly, dude, I thought they nailed it with 11. Like, that is the perfect fucking Kano. He's so good. Bald Kano, I'm not really, you know. All the cameos are old school outfits. Did I talk to stream about this? So all the old cam all the cameos are like old fatalities, right? <laughs> and <laughs> the funny thing to me, right, is like back in the day when they couldn't come up with a fatality, they just made up some shit, right? They're just like, uh, Sonya kisses you and then you blow up, right? And they couldn't come up with a Jax fatality, so they were just like, okay, he gets really big and then steps on you. Which is, like, fine. It's the 90s. Who cares? But, like, Jax doesn't have this superpower in the lore. Jax can't do this. He's a normal guy with iron arms. Why the fuck can he do this now? What? How did he get that power back? This is like a dumb 90s thing, but they're just like, no, Jax gets big now. Because it's funny. <laughs> Why did they get him to do that again? Why? <laughs> Why did they get the... It's so funny that they just brought that back. He's just a normal guy who's also Ant-Man, but it's not reflected in any of his moves. He doesn't get big in any of his moves. He doesn't change size. He only does this to step on you. Mortal Kombat fucking rules, man. I love it. Mortal Kombat on Switch is silly. I was also talking with this with friends at SmashCon. I don't like Om Omni-Man and Homelander. I'm going to keep saying it. I only need one evil Superman. I don't need both. Stupid. Do, is John Cena going to voice play? I really hope he voices that. I really hope so. No, 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 no. Civilization? Oh, it is Civilization. What? It actually is. Huh. Aloof, disciplined, persuasive woodsman. Damn, it's kind of pretty, though. This is civilization. That shit is civ as hell. Blizzard has had a long history here at Gamescom. And <laughs> I was going to say, Blizzard has had a long year. <laughs> They've had a tough time, huh, fellas? I was gonna say, yeah, they sure have. I'm not a Blizzard guy. Nameless people, but no. Uh, even this. Diablo. Wow. Monsters. Diablo. 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 It's Diablo. Okay. Ferguson. Right. 
I was so excited. Exciting. No, right. no, thank Obviously, you. Obviously, he has any bad dark. No, thank bad. you. Oh. Lurks around every turn. Okay, what's this? All right, and now it's time for another world premiere. This one is a European-made game about hope, love, friendship, and robots. In a world divided by disinformation. This is a very, like, 2006 intro. Information. Where danger lurks around every turn. A motley crew of misfits. Robots? On a fateful road trip to discover their true. Please tell me you're done. Oh, we're just getting started. <laughs> what is this music? I believe the kids call it K-pop music. Just K-pop. Turn it down. Leave my music alone. Shut the hell up. Words have power. <laughs> no way! We can give you strength. Ready for this? Stand still. Words can bring people together and tear them apart. Wait, is this like a, this is like a, it's like a think what you say ass game. This is an empathy ass game. No way. Can I play with my microphone? <laughs> I got a word that'll drop a new, I have a word that will full screen kill anything in my FOV. I got some words. It might get me kicked off Twitch, but I, I'm going to kill a whole mob. <laughs> is full nuke the lobby i'd be king at pvp what in this have to say? Hot my ult <laughs> i think we can all agree that my trailer voice was better than yours okay so the idea there is that the words can uh, for uh, <laughs> the words have power over other people that's very funny oh that's good who have to say i think we can all agree that my trailer voice was better than yours. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Honestly, it might be good. Is this even a game? No, this actually might be funny. This feels like one of those games that might be funny, but they're they're trying to make it to appeal to the mass, like the super mass, whatever. And it's like, this could be good. I could see it. I I would I would have to actually see gameplay. Based on what? Well like this is all like very wacky and zany and quick and a lot of hijinks, but I bet like in in a box in a vacuum. Like imagine a game like um what is it? Later Alligator? Is that it? Like that game was funny, but if you condensed all of the funny moments into like boom 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 boom, it probably wouldn't be you have to, like, see how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Could just be a bad trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I could see this being funny. I could feel that, you know? Please shift the tone. British Earthbound? I I don't think I would say that. And again, I'm here with Sam Blake, who's going to take us to a very dark place. Ah! With Alan Wake 2. Sam, welcome to Gamescom. Uh... <laughs> This game is coming out in October. The Shadow Man! We've had so much fun. We announced this a few years ago at the Game Awards and at Summer Game Fest. My ass is not Alan waking. I'm Alan asleeping. Is that Keanu fucking Reeves? Oh, wait, no, that's Alan Wake. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that Alan Wake was Keanu Reeves. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I don't think Alan Wake holds up. I feel like that game probably sucks now. Opening night live. Uh, we have so many amazing games coming this fall. I want to thank all Name of you for one. being here tonight watching online. I guess he did. He, he named the whole conference. Fine, Jasmine, okay. thank you for co-hosting. Uh, and I got to say, we got a lot of great games coming up in the next few months. So I hope you enjoy Thanks, the rest Jeff. of Gamescom and get ready for what's going to be quite a debate about Game of the Year. And speaking of the Game of the Year... I'm happy to announce tonight that the Game Awards will be returning live this December. We've got a date for you, 
Thursday, December 7th. The show will be streaming live cool. everywhere. It is our 10th show, which I can't believe we've been doing it for 10 years. Damn, 10 years? That's crazy. Wow. Good for them. Jesus. I had no idea. I swear there was only like four. That's what I thought. I didn't think there were that many. Jesus. That's the same weekend of Watch the Throne. Oh, <gasps> no. Uh oh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll be staying home. Wait, no, it's not because. No, because I think Game Awards are usually on a Thursday, right? Gotta say, that was Something a weak like conference. That. Especially because that blue bastard showed up. Shadow, Can't when did you start watching? Sh where did Shadow no, come from? Why is he <laughs> destroying my enemies? Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the five dollars, Shadow. I've heard that quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, it's on a Thursday. I'm fine. I could still go. That's not really the same weekend. So, all right, you know what? Mid as conference. I didn't really see anything that I liked, and I spent two hours on it. Oh, good lord! But you know who will save me? The one game developer. The publisher, with any sort of integrity, who never misses. Time for the real show to start. I need to you see this up air link. Oh, hold on. I'm not doing Nasby yet. I'll do that in a second, okay? No Nasby yet. There's only one publisher I can trust. Only one publisher that has only hits, top to bottom. And that's... Big Moan Gaming. <laughs> I'm actually very curious on what this is. Because Donkey said that he was going to make his own thing. And a lot of people criticized him. And I'm curious what this video actually is. Only two games in this video? Really? I really can't believe it's been almost a year I liked this a lot. I'm curious. Today we're here to show you what we've been working on. I want to see what it looks like. Up on anything you might have missed and share a couple announcements. But before we get into that, I'd just like to thank everyone... Trust to spoil a month-old game to lie and misrepresent games he doesn't like. Oh, we hate Dunky here, huh? ...who's made this an amazing first year and Okay, experience. to be fair, he did first spoil off, Xenoblade, so... Jason's channel. ...you know, whether you've been here for years you had a month to play it, recently. which I guess only it gets really you through Act so 1, but... ...after all this time that you guys are here. Thank you to all I don't know. I I think I think after a month it's okay to spoil, but that's just me, I guess. The awesome game devs and people across the entire games industry that we've been able to connect with so far, both Aww. in person and online. A heartfelt letter. A big thanks to Big Mo Sean and Big. He spoiled a single frame of a 60-hour game. Well, come on. Let's not let's not be disingenuous here. That was that frame was a big deal. That's like that's like showing the would you kindly board in Bioshock, and be like, wow, it's just a picture. Like, <laughs> I mean, so yeah, but for an amazing first year big mode. And of course, we're only just getting started. Still, <laughs> it was the most fucked up frame I've ever seen in my life. But we're looking forward to. You could look at any frame of Mortal Kombat. I think that's a little bit more fucked up than a Happy Family. Many years of supporting. I saw a woman break a guy open with her hair today. I think that's worse than a guy holding a baby. Spotlighting fun, high quality <laughs> indie games. That's it for me. I'm gonna turn you guys over now. I'm sorry, harem, not family. Office. Goodbye. Damn, they have an office? That shit's a room. That's in their fucking garage. Here I am. And the first and thing I'm gonna is. talk about today is Animal Well. Which was featured on this year's Nintendo Indie World. It was. Never in a million years did I think I would be allowed onto an official Nintendo anything. All of the ducks were so nice, none of them bit me. And I want to apologize to Billy about the Frisbee incident. People are saying that. <laughs> I also want to apologize for the yo yo incident. Did they not? Did they? I don't think they showed that during the Indie thing, did they? That's really funny. Well, uh, Animal Wells, the game I've been. Working on for over five years. <laughs> uh, 
and doing everything <laughs> by myself. Earlier this year, some of you got a chance to play Animal Well at PAX East in Boston. I didn't! I say thank you so much to everyone who stopped by. It was really inspiring to meet so many of you. Everybody there was so sweet and encouraging, and I think we all came out of that event wanting to go big mode for all of you. From its dreamlike atmosphere to its multifaceted items, cute animals, terrifying animals, and intuitive puzzle design, Billy has been hard at work this year, cooking you guys up a really special game. This game kind of ugly to me. Kind of hurts my eyes. Am I crazy? Am I a hater? Something about it kind of... But, I, but I, I felt that way about Celeste, and then I, I played Celeste, and I was like, oh, okay, I, it, like my eyes adjusted to it, and I loved Celeste. So maybe I'll get used to this. Real you know quick, what I'm saying? I want to share with you an audio clip of one of our play testers playing through the game. Okay, do that. This game is really crazy. I got a wish list this on Steam. It is taking all of my Is it the scan lines? Kind of, yeah. Hour not to spoil this game for you guys. There are so many crazy parts I want to show you, but I think to really get the real Animal Well experience, you got to play it for yourself. And you'll get another oh, and chance I will. to play it at PAX West in Seattle on September 1st through Dude, the 4th. And I was supposed to go there! And there will even be some exclusive Animal Well PAX pins for sale at the booth. On my birthday! Speaking of Animal Well merchandise, I also want to introduce our new line of collectible figures, Big Mode Modos. <laughs> Look at the big... For each game we publish, we are going to put out a clay model styled statuette designed by the creator of Pee Pee's and Wee Wee's. <laughs> Look out for Big Mode Modos in quarter one. Oh, that's cool. Year. I like that. I thought they were just doing it for themselves. I was like, uh, putting out merch for your company before you make a get. But that's really cool. I like that. When we announced Big Mode last year, so many of you reached out to us that we realized we would need to be a Walmart-sized company to work with all of you. That's why this winter we are hosting the first ever Big Mode Game Jam. A multi-day oh, event what that where is. I will play I your games live on Twitch and make fun of them and talk about how good the graphics are. I can't <laughs> wait to see what you all come up with. I've got this brand new controller to play all your games on. It's really good. It uh, works for GameCube only. So I hope you guys can make it for that. For more details about the theme and exact That's dates, follow good. Big Mode Games. Damn, let's go. Is that Tear Zoo back there? Let's go, Tear Zoo! I see your ass back there. That's my fucking boy. On Twitter, I mean X. Oh, wait, wait, now that now I just see. I that. hate this humor so much. I love Donkey. I I I haven't liked some of his videos lately. Like some of them are misses, but like it's like you know that's fine. They can't all be home runs. You know what I'm saying? Big mode games on Twitter. I I was on to Donkey, and this isn't like a like a gatekeeping thing. I was on to Donkey pretty early, like before most people, because he was a league guy. And, like, they're, like, everybody loved him in League. They're, like, this guy's really fucking funny. Um, but nobody thought he would go this big. Which is why I'm watching this, because it's, like, I don't know, good for him, right? I mean, X. But, Coney, all of your videos are home runs. Chatter, I really appreciate you gassing me up. We both know that's not true. Oh, wait, now I, now I just see an Applebee's logo. But thank you. And if you want to see more home runs and maybe some bunts... Hit exclamation point YouTube to subscribe to the YouTube today. And so you'll never miss another home run. Name two Coney Bunts. I'd have to look at the list. Okay. Sometimes a bunt gets a base, though. A bunt getting a base is when I'm like, damn, this is a bad idea. And then it's funny. Playtime's over. I am now putting Salty down Bet the Hunger Games are bunts. No, because those... Those all... Uh, uh, salt, uh, salty Bet is... Hunger Games are a good base hit. I know it's going to do well. Right. There are so many people at SmashCon that told me do more Hunger Games, and I just wanted to rip out my own throat. I mean, in a in a grateful way, in a thank you so much, I really appreciate that. I'm going to go slam my head into a bathroom stall. This next game... What did you say? Thank you. I uh, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Is one of I didn't let them see the pain behind my eyes. ...favorite indie titles. And since it released in 2017, the developers have been expanding on and refining... This <laughs> Hunger Games is stealing a base. The fans love it, but the players hate you for it. Yeah. One of the very best <laughs> it's a good way to put it. With a Pops the possible, crowd. ...enemies, weapons, creative room layouts, and insane boss battles. So... 
when the developers approached us wanting to create an ultimate version of the game for Nintendo Switch, of course we had to say, aw, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, check this shit out. I will. That shit looked like down well. Okay. It looks cool, but it's too fast for me to get my eyes on. Room Gradius? Bullet Hell Roguelike? I mean... Part of me wonders, is this what they're gonna, like, and obviously it's only two games, but it, are they going, like, all pixel art, I wonder? With what they're doing? Like, shit like this? But if he's trying to support really small devs with cool ideas, that might be the right angle. Definitely more affordable, yeah. Stop That's just an indie thing? Maybe. Coming to the goddamn Nintendo Switch. Cool. Fuck. Looks okay. Is this out? Uh, thank he said you coming. Tuning in to the Big Mode memo, and thank you to everyone that has helped us with Big Mode, especially my beautiful wife Leah, who's been working so hard. His ass is reading a teleprompter. LOL. I can't. Can't remember his. Life. I can't. I can't stop. Why am I hating? Why am I such a hater? This poor guy. I wonder if he's anxious on camera, because like most of his shit is off camera. reality. Now. Let's look at all that funny biggie. Can't remember his wife's name. Uh, Leah. <laughs> Common Coney hating. I can't help myself. He streams? Oh, yeah, he does with Kamon. No, you're right. I forgot about that. In his old league days, he, he was very clearly like... He was like okay on camera, but he, he he wasn't fully comfortable, but he also didn't care because he thought it was funny. So I was just curious. He also used to be black, yeah. I never got that. Everybody said, oh my god, I thought you were black based on your voice. I never, I just like, this is definitely uh, a guy from like Minnesota or something. Like I, I was like, this is a Midwest white kid. Um, I never thought about it. You know, I only thought about it because other people said it. I will say, although I I personally agree uh, a lot with with I literally I agree with Dunkey on like ninety percent of the shit that he says. I think his fans are annoying as shit. It's got to be really annoying to be a JRPG fan or. Uh, somebody who enjoys something that he doesn't because he's just like i don't like this and he'll make fun of it and it's like who cares it's just how he feels but then his fans make it really fucking annoying and weird and turn it into a meme you know what i'm saying he's got the most overdone comment section on youtube yeah 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 and i don't think that's really his fault but like i i can't imagine what it's like to like be a jrpg fan and just hear the same fucking talking points from this guy right i get it Dunkey has that fan base that'll just echo whatever he says. I mean, I but again, I get that because I'm I have very similar sensibilities to him. Whenever I watch a video, my opinions like ninety percent of the time match up with what he thinks. I'm like, yeah, okay. And I imagine it's probably like that for other people, right? Um, but I don't think that means I think it's weird when people act upon it and make it a crusade or making it weird or something. He is based with Last of Us too. Yeah, I didn't agree with him on that one, but that's just that's just me. I thought that game was a little indulgent and kind of uh, unnecessary, but, you know. Uh, I also got the vibe that it 
was more than just the game because it was also about the fucking movement and all the shit surrounding it, you know? So Shallow and pedantic. Yes, that's how I would describe it. You can see why he thinks that, though, right? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I can, I can understand anybody's perspective every time. It's just about how far do you take your your how you how you feel about things, right? Is this just a minute of fan art? <laughs> it is. Hey, good for them. Good for them. I I wish them the best. Be nice. I am nice. Good for them. I hey, they're giving back to the fans that are helping them build a studio or a room in a garage, <laughs> wherever we are here with these big things. Coney never gets fan art. I don't like encouraging fan art. I'm very appreciative when I get fan art, but I don't I feel weird when I see creators like, "Hey, make art of me. Everybody, make something about me. Why don't you make me something?" I think that's kind of weird. I would rather it come from somebody who wants to do it on their own, not tell that me not me telling them to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I guess it becomes, the way that it starts is by you featuring it. But I don't even like featuring it. Because then it's like, I, I don't want to be a fucking, I'm not a video game character. You know what I'm saying? It, it's totally cool with people like me. I'm not trying to dissuade fan art or anything. But I'm like a guy. And I don't want to like, I, I don't, I don't want to tell people to to turn me into something that I'm not. I don't know how to put that, if that makes sense. Drawing Coney out of anger. I don't wish to become marketable. I mean, kind of. I just don't... It, it makes me feel weird, I guess. And again, I'm not saying I'm, I don't appreciate it or I don't love it when I see it. I do. It's awesome. It's great. But asking for it is weird to me. Because, like, I, that... Show it's like a it's like a tribute. Show me the depths of your idolatry, right? I don't. It's maybe that's just me. It feels a little weird. That's all. But when people make it, I'm I I love it. It's great. That's something that they did on their own that I appreciate a lot, right? You know what I'm saying? Somebody made a really good Fall Guy when I was in the the depths of my Fall Guy stuff. Somebody made me a Fall Guy thing that I still I love that thing. It was great. So. Like the Rant Sona. Yeah, see, there you go. Just like that one. <laughs> Perfect. Have you ever gotten weird fan art? No, I don't think so. I haven't gotten a lot of fan art, like, period. I, I have a lot of people that'll, like, say that they, like, warmed up sketching or something, watching the stream, drawing my face or whatever. So, do you ever get the art from Cringe Confessionals? No, not really. I got one picture from Cringe Confessional, but that was it. All right, I said I would look at Nasby, and I'm going to. I have a Marvel, oh my god, I have a Marvel snap bounty, and it's for a lot of fucking money. Holy shit. It's time to play Marvel Snap tomorrow, because tonight we're playing something else. Okay, we're going to look at Nickelodeon, I promise. We're going to look at that in just a bit. But first, I have to show you guys something I'm very passionate about. We've seen all these mid-ass games, but now what I would like to do is really put a spotlight on a game that you guys might not have heard of. It's a small indie title called Fortnite. And that's right, Fortnite now has racing. And, and I would like to tell you about Fortnite racing. Specifically... Hold on, I gotta get out of here. Uh, Fortnite, specifically, I have to tell you about their all-new partnership with Shell. That's right, Shell Gas. Fellas, Shell is entering the gaming space with Shell Ultimate Road Trips, an immersive driving game experience in Fortnite. Creative, that highlights the benefits of Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline through gameplay. Shell brought together six of the best map creators in Fortnite Creative to design six different road trips within one Shell Ultimate Road Trips map. Shell is at the center of the game map, where Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline will be the enabler, propelling road trippers to magnificent worlds and terrains like Fantasy Forest, Canyon Edge, Frozen Town, and Cyber City, and a grand finale location that is, well, ultimate. 
Shell, Shell Ultimate Road Trips takes driving gameplay in Fortnite to a whole new level, challenging a player's skills to unlock the most beautiful, hidden places where they can take the stunning game photos, just like you would do on any road trip in the real world, then share on social media using the official hashtag, hashtag Shell Road Trips. Let's check out the Shell Creative Mode right now and go on an epic road trip together, shall we? Who wants to join me? Who wants to go on a road trip? <laughs> I don't remember how to get to creative. Not me? <laughs> no, nobody, nobody wants to go on a road trip with me. Nobody at all. <laughs> I'll go myself then. All right. <laughs> I'll just go myself on the road trip, all alone. Wait, what's the code? Oh, uh, island code? Yeah. I'll join, join up, fellas. <laughs> Here's the code. <laughs> oh, wait, ads. Hey, everybody, ads are right now. <laughs> Fuck me. I forgot to I forgot to say that. Whoops. Why did Shell the oil company make the game? Well, let's find out. Let's find out what they cooked up. All together. Can I get the code again? Uh 03146322 Oh, whoops. If I do monitor capture it does that. Whoops. Hold on. Let's go on an epic road trip together for about half an hour. And then we'll check out Nasby. I don't think the mode officially released yet. Huh? That shit was on my board. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at all these epic locations. Time to hop in the hoopty. Let's go on a road trip together. I would like to go to the Pacific Northwest. Let's go together. Wait, can anybody join my game? <laughs> There's a shell station. All right, fellas, I'm going to head in. Y'all want anything? <laughs> anybody need a snack? Oh, no way that shit's closed. Gummy worms? Might be a long trip. Hop in, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Seagulls getting quick We're losing time I got half an hour on this Come on What <laughs> Uh <laughs> You lost Hmm <laughs> Uh Welcome to Shell. Hit the road. Unlock your performance. Fuel up with premium gasoline. All right. Let's. Everybody, let's load up. Let's all get. We can all have different cars. All right. Oh, I got. This car has no gas. I can't go. Dude, I can't go. I must be out of Shell premium fuel. Let me drive. Why can't I drive the car? More cars, more gas. I need more gas! Who's playing that? How do I turn on the car? Does anybody know how to turn on the car? Wait, how come you can drive? Dude, I literally can't drive. I literally can't drive. It won't let me drive. I'm not kidding. I don't think you have it binded. I did it before. I did. You drive. Doom guy can't drive either. Do I? Oh my god. Wait, am I not a driving person? Can I'm get. Can I die? <laughs> 
Is there? Do I die to go drive? I can I only drive one car? Maybe. Oh, maybe we can only drive one car, each. Hold on. I think I'm the blue car. Aha! I see. Okay. All right, everybody. Let's fuel up for the road trip. It's time to get our premium V-Power fuel. Oh, I can't. <laughs> All right. Let's pretend to. Oh, fuel up and feel your engine roar. <laughs> okay. I will. Um. <laughs> oh, I have to go over there. Hold on. I'm about to feel the power <laughs> of the V... The V power night should destroy the performance <laughs> dropping deposits. How do I do that? Fuel up. Stop! <laughs> Excuse me. I need to fuel up the V. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Now it's time to cruise in style. All right, fellas. We're going to space. No, we're not. We can't go to space yet. <laughs> um, I think we have to go. Where do we go? Shell, uh, we go here? No. Where are, we, where are we supposed to go? Oh, over there. Hold on. Wait. All right, we're going this way first, I guess. What? Um, <laughs> what is this music? This way? I don't know what to do. Uh, they told you what to do. No, but I, I can't break the, I already got the fuel. Does anyone know what to do? Accelerate through portal for your first adventure. Hell yeah, let's go! Find the what? Okay. Yo! Let's go! All right. Oh, this shit laggy, laggy. I think that's what it is. Oh, no. He's okay, thanks to Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Fuel. The premium fuel now available at all Shell stations. Damn, I have infinite boost. Thanks, Shell. Cody about to go on a hero's journey. Oh, hell yeah. Only I'm only able to do this thanks to the power of shell gasoline and fuels. Bringing road tripping to a new level. Why are they so much further than me? My honk button doesn't work. Never mind, I hit the wrong button. <laughs> Eat oil, drink oil. Don't do that. I'm legally obligated to tell you not to eat or drink oil. Excuse me. Let's enjoy our road trip peacefully, blue car. Let's all do it nice and respectfully from a good distance away. Should I listen to this? Radio off. Uh-oh. The road is blocked. Let's click. Wait, what is this? Let's go to the beach. There's something in the sand. <laughs> What's in the sand, everybody? <laughs> oh, boy. What an adventure. Rubble has cleared. What is that? Who is that a cat man? What was did anybody see that? <laughs> Who was that? Oh, we made a sandcastle. Hooray. The rubble is clear. <laughs> Let's get back in the hoopty and start back on the road trip across America and maybe the galaxy. Thanks to Shell Nitro Plus V Nitro Premium Fuel, I too can go to places unknown and visit vast new worlds. Take a screenshot of it share using hashtag road trips. Um, I don't have, I don't know the button to do that. Actually, I don't know. What the hey guys, remember to use hashtag shell road trips, everybody, to take a screenshot. All right. 
<laughs> oh, hold on. Coney, stop reminding us that it's a shell ad. Well, I thought you wouldn't know. It's very subtle otherwise. I didn't know if you would know that this was hashtag sponsored content. Here we go. Great shot. Now return to show. Okay. Time to go back to the station. <laughs> Refuel and feel your performance. Unbound. All right, let's fill back up. No, I need to... I, honestly, that's not great fuel economy. Shell. I don't know what's going on with this gas, but, like... Destroy the performance robbing deposits. Blocking the V-Nitro <laughs> plus portal. When? Nope. Solar. <laughs> nope. Gas. Well. <laughs> How are you gonna push a car with wind? You talking about a fucking sailboat. Come on, bro. Bro is a pirate. I can't. Wait, is this where we were before? No. Find the mystical castle. Uh-oh, I hope I can. Is that a uh, trans... No, that's Doom guy. What the hell happened? He must have gotten the, the unleaded. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> That's why you get the V-plus power nitro-plus fuel. Welcome to the mystical castle. I hope I can find it within this vast jungle. Let's look together. <laughs> Blood got the E85. He tried to save 20 cents a gallon. Who is that? Is it, Who is that person phasing in? Oh, they're in the car. Catch a flying jellyfish. How? Oh, I see. We got to get up there. Uh, do I keep going on the road? Do I go back? I have to go catch a flying jellyfish. Take a screenshot with wolves and sure. I'm going to go back. I don't need to catch a flying jellyfish. It was just this. Je it was like the. It was like the sandcastle. All right, let's go take a picture with... <laughs> oh, my God. Hope that guy's okay. Aw, take a picture with wolves. Um, will they try to hit me? No. They're friendly. Can I kill them? Signal remote. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> whoops. So I hit the remote, and it sent me back here. <laughs> Looks like we're going back to the Amazon. What the fuck? How did I jump the hoopty? Stream Shell Ultimate Road Trips map within Fortnite for 30 minutes. Thank you, Shell. <laughs> Great chat thing at the top. Why don't you guys do that? Why don't you guys stream it, huh? Wait, I can't get back there. I can't. Dude, it won't let me back in. Oh, here we go. Let's go find the mystical castle. <laughs> you know, it's important to to take note of the nature around you because it might not be there forever. This rainforest might not be there in 50 or 100 years. So it's important to appreciate it while it's still here. Thank you, Shell. For creating a map where I can enjoy the Amazon. <laughs> Thanks to Shell V Power Nitrous Plus Gasoline. <laughs> oh, do I have to take a wolf picture? I'm gonna keep going. My ass is driving. Jesus Christ. This road is dangerous. Time to enjoy the next journey. And remember, they got the top Fortnite creative minds to make these maps, as you can tell. What does the V stand for? Probably velocity. I would think. Victory? Something like that, I think. Um... Where, where is the portal? Violence? <laughs> Don't think that's it. 
Where it said to boost through the portal. Where the fuck is the portal? I want to go on to the next adventure. Is it because I didn't do the other things? Go back? <laughs> oh my god. It's right there. It's very cold. Find shelter. It's clearly not. What? Am I soft locked? Is it cut? Do I warp back now? Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go. I think it's because somebody's in the ice level, maybe. Oh, okay. Somebody is is way ahead. Okay. Somebody's enjoying the ice level without me. Reach the t rooftop of Frozen Town. I will. Change tires. <laughs> Does Shell do that? Did, did I? Does Shell do? I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have a problem. <laughs> I don't uh, I uh, My car is actually Just uh, mm, delicious Alright Let's get out of here I guess And hit the button Okay Let's try again Can you guys stop playing this music On my stream please God damn it why can't I make this boost hit? Okay. I guess I didn't have enough fuel. Enough shell premium V plus. Shell V power nitro plus premium gasoline. Yup. Time to get to the rooftop of Frozen Town. I don't think I need to change tires. I tried to do that, and I, I wasn't able to do it. Let's get to the top, fellas. Quickly. What's at the top? You should not do this in a sports car. You shouldn't even do this in an SUV. <laughs> what the fuck? Am I going the right way? I guess it's linear. This is very dangerous. You don't even go to Shell gas stations? I literally just did to fuel up for this trip. I just did that. Do we stop in here? Ah, a nice cozy spot to rest. Uh, This shit look haunted. Just a haunted ass hotel. Get me out of here. There's nobody here. Let's keep going. This has to be AI generated. It's not. Need I repeat myself? Uh, wait. Oh, uh, what did they? Uh, Shell brought together six of the best map creators in Fortnite Creative to design six different road trips within one Shell Ultimate Road Trips map. Explore six of the most challenging terrains. Snow, coastline, desert, city, alien world, etc. Complete the quest and unlock new roads that will take you to the most picture-perfect spots. We encourage streamers to capture the moment by taking an in-game screenshot of or selfie and share it on social using hashtag Shell Road Trips. Shell would like the streamers to mention any Easter eggs on stream like Fortnite Camel, Kevin the Cube, or Frozen Town. What is this? Oh, it's Frozen Town. Remember that reference they said? We're here. You guys know Frozen Town, right? Let's find out what's up there. In Frozen Town. Yo! Did you take... That is a cat man. <laughs> a buff-ass cat guy. 
Got the Braveheart face paint. Did you take a selfie, Catman? I hope you took a selfie and shared it using hashtag uh, shell road trips. I can't get out now. Wait, are we all stuck? Get me out. I think we're all stuck here. Oh my god, this is so bad. Let me out. <laughs> Stop! Get off! Get off! Get off my car! How do I get out of here? Dude, I'm actually fucking stuck. I don't know what to do. Why did they make this? Hold E? Yeah, but how do I get the car out? The car has a million hit points. Amazing. Now return to shell. Okay. I guess we... Yeah, we got to the end of this map. Okay. Let's refuel and perform at our best. Excuse me. It's my turn. Where do I refuel? <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to refuel. Everybody's taking my fucking gas. Let's get rid of this rubble. Mods, remove that rubble. These harmful deposits. Inhibiting our extra fun road trip. Let's go! With the radio off. Why did you hit him? He was in the way. Coney, you seem confused. Are you low on Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline? No, it's not the drink, silly. You're not supposed to ingest Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. However, if you were to do so, it would probably give you a good kick. No, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't even joke like that. Do not drink gas. Do not drink gas under any circumstances. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Your car drinks it. Put it in your car's mouth. Your car's mouth is in the back. Not in the front. That's the grill. <laughs> check out. Oh, check it out. They, they have a shell here. <laughs> Love that. I'm going to get some bugles and a lottery ticket. Purchase snacks. Time to visit Light Street. Shall we? Can I steal this guy's car? No, because he doesn't have V shell power uh, premium plus nitro plus. How did you get over there? Oh, you just drive up it. Am I allowed to say other brands? <laughs> they said get snacks. Surely I'm allowed to say one. <laughs> no. Uh-oh. How do I... What do I do here? Dude, I'm fucking stuck. Before, it was easy. Okay, you have to go up sideways. I see. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay. You need more gas. I do not. I'm at full. Okay, here we go. Let's get to the highest level. Oh, I have to go through a parking garage? Why? Whether it's highway or city driving. Shell. V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline has you all the way. Coney, clear out all the cars. <laughs> How? Who's on foot? I heard somebody running. Why aren't you... Did you run out of gasoline? Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium le Leaded Gas... Unleaded? I don't know what it is. Gasoline? Ooh, look at this. I'm gonna get to the highest level here. Let's see what's at the top. Together. I'm having a shell of a time!
<laughs> they didn't even tell me to say that. That was straight off the top of the dome. Yoop! <laughs> do not do this in real life. Do not do this with your car. This is strictly in Fortnite in creative mode. The top of Cyber City. Cool. Well, I guess it's time to get down now. Um, where do I go now? Am I done here? I guess I'm done. Go to the sign. Oh, fantastic. Now let's go back to Shell. Refuel and feel your engine roar. If it's good enough for Doom Guy, it's good enough for me. Time to refuel using Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline. Time to destroy the performance robbing deposits blocking the V Power Nitro Plus portal. Uh, this way. We're going to the canyon. Is Grand Canyon like a brand name? Can I say that? Probably. Time to cut through these harmful deposits. Whoa, Jesus. I thought Grand Canyon might be like a branded name. You know what I mean? Like it, it's, it doesn't, what? Where am I? <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> I am the car. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm the car now. <laughs> what do I do? I'm first person. Yeah, I can't move. Now I can eat oil? Finally. Now I can finally taste the true power of the Shell uh, Ultimate V Plus Pat. There's too many adjectives, you guys. Whoever is watching it, Shell Marketing, throw me a goddamn bone. Oh my god, I actually can't get out. I, I can't use the signal to get... Help me! <laughs> Can you save me, please? Just keep hitting my car. Can you help? <laughs> Can anyone see? I'm stuck. Use respawn in the settings. Uh. Oh, here we go. No! No! Dude, I was out. I was out. I was out. Thank you. I'm almost out. I'm almost out. I'm almost out. One more. Come on. Dude, I, I'm so close. If the car didn't have a million hit points, I would do that. Please help me out. I'm trying to birth me from this car. Help! Where am I? It's like I'm looking out the sunroof. Dude, this is actually... Wait, it said I... Wait, drive up here. It said that I could get in the passenger. Just, just drive up close. Yes! What? <laughs> uh... I can't. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I, I, I think I'm stuck. I think I'm just stuck. Can you flip the car? No. You're definitely not getting paid for this. I didn't do anything wrong. I was just trying to experience the Shell Ultimate Road Trips map. Okay, now the car is totally gone and I still can't move. Okay. Well... That's going to do it for our Shell Ultimate Road Trip experience. But guys, I had a great time. And I know you're going to have an even better time using Shell Ultimate... Uh, uh, Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline for all your road trips. Thanks, Shell. <laughs> what do you mean, bag fumbled? What was I supposed to do? The game's broken. How did you lose this? What do you mean, lose it? <laughs> Friend request. All right, let me get this Marvel Snap one for later. Hell yeah. Road trip failed. Yeah, I died on the road trip. Oops. <laughs> My bad. I got turned into a car. <laughs> How the fuck did that even happen, dude? All right, I promised you we would do it, and we're going to do it. Fellas, I need to catch up on some Nickelodeon stuff.
I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been streaming for an hour longer lately. I kind of like it. It's going until midnight. A little bit for the for the late night fellas, you know. Maybe a bit for the West Coast cells. Maybe like eleven thirty, you know. All right, uh, Jimmy and Patrick are the two I haven't seen this yet. This makes his way into Nickelodeon. Jimmy Neutron. I'm actually curious about Jimmy because I never watched that fucking show. He's just kind of not my generation, so. Have you tried out the items in Nazmi? No. I just know that they added them. Which is weird, because, like, I'm shocked you could add items to a platform fighter like that later. I feel like they're so intrinsic to the game, you need them at the beginning. But... Tron, the boy genius, makes his way into Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 as a defensive zoner, wielding all sorts of fantastic inventions, including sure his does. secret... Oh, is he the new Zim? ...watch laser, an all-purpose toaster, the super bubblegum mobile, intelligent purple flurp rocket launcher, and many more. Jimmy's most noteworthy invention is, of course, his... That definitely sounded like Sonic. Did you hear that? Da -da 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 -da. And many more. This. Jimmy's most noteworthy invention... Am I crazy? ...is, of course, his beloved robot companion, Goddard, who Aww. can be summoned with down special, and once active, can be controlled by again pressing down special. If you choose to let him keep running, he'll explode on contact with the opponent. Goddard will be destroyed after taking a bit of damage, so try to keep him close. Oh, and he doesn't have an active hitbox. Attacked with the opponent. Goddard will be destroyed after taking a bit of damage. So he just... So, okay, so you can just hit him. So, try to keep him close. Okay. Goddard can fly around with the control stick, shoot lasers with the charge attack button, chomp with the regular attack button, and even be dropped on enemies' heads by holding down and again pressing the regular <laughs> attack button. Just be careful to remember that while you're controlling Goddard, Jimmy himself will be stationary and vulnerable. But all you have to do to switch back is, again, press the special button. That seems very strong. Being able to control a puppet at any point and be able to turn it on and off seems crazy. You'll also immediately be forced back to Jimmy if he starts taking damage. As for his other gadgets, Jimmy's neutral B is a rocket launcher that The puppet has one HP. Well, I guess that's true. Let's you pre a series anything. of inputs into the rocket's trajectory, meaning whichever directions you press while charging the rocket, that's the direction the rocket will travel. Huh. So it's Nikita, but you can't control it... Like... You can't control it uh, while you're holding it. If all... Okay that neuron activation is too complicated for you don't worry jimmy has plenty of fancy tricks with it does not have one hp please don't listen to him. It has a lot <laughs> i mean how much is a lot we talking like a fully charged strong like that's that's going to be tough to balance i think if all that whichever directions you press while charging the rocket that's the direction the rocket will travel. two hp if all that neuron activation is too complicated for you don't worry jimmy yeah, has plenty playing. of fancy tricks without goddard his character looks... His disjointed attacks, like his grounded light forward and aerial light forward, are fantastic for slapping opponents away. And the Super Bubblegum Mobile covers his entire body with an active hitbox, making it a very difficult attack to challenge and a great one to throw out if you get overwhelmed or have trouble landing. So what do you do with it? To touch on one of How Jimmy's do you deal weaknesses, with that? his recovery is rather average, being pretty slow and vulnerable overall since the up special <laughs> doesn't have a hitbox. Recovery. If you have average, Brrr, yeah. he's just in a rat. Be slow and vulnerable overall okay. since the up special doesn't have a hitbox. Sure. If you have your jump, however, you can use that during the up special and then up special again if you'd like. And ah, don't forget, you can okay. always slime cancel to get out early or use Goddard as a way to provide cover. This all only scratch. I love the answer. Wow! <laughs> just the surface of what might be possible with Jimmy. So it's up to you to hop in the lab, run some experiments. <laughs> Okay, this, I'm gonna be very bad against Jimmy because I was like, "What killed SpongeBob? What happened?" Scratches the surface of. I I had no idea. Uh, huh? What might be possible with Jimmy? So it's up. I didn't even look at the dog. To you to hop in the <laughs> lab, run some experiments. Wait, if the dog di oh, if the off. dog dies, you just probably get another one. What if you don't? What if the dog dies and he just is gone forever? <laughs> one per stock. All the tech that you've discovered. Careful, Jimmy. Oh, that's it. Okay. Uh, I thought that'd be longer. Um, wow, that's a weird character. Uh, that seems extremely strong. Maybe a cooldown like Luma? Yeah, I would assume so. I feel like having a puppet that you can manually control and swap back and forth to is crazy, but I guess if you could just hit him at any point. I don't know. 
The showcases are just two minutes now? Okay. Damn, I could have done these anytime. I didn't realize these are this short. Everybody's favorite pink starfish is back and ready to throw down. It's I can't think of any other pink starfishes. Today's character spotlight will be going over none other than Patrick Fish is back and ready to throw down. Did he turn him into and a leaf? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Like, I know that's SpongeBob, but like, what, the, what happened? How about any starfish? The starfish from Finding Nemo. Oh, wait. I think the starfish from Finding Nemo is also pink. Pat, I like Patrick better than him, though. This is a reference? Spiders? I don't... I don't know this bit. That's a good-ass reference? I don't know what this is. He's afraid of a spider. <laughs> wait, do you mean Patrick smashing? No, I meant SpongeBob. Is the is the SpongeBob thing spiders? But no, he's afraid of spiders and he's smashing it. That's what it is. Okay. Spotlight will be going over none other than Jesus. Patrick Star. Patrick is a pretty traditional grappler, all things considered. Uh -huh. Slow, heavy, and mostly limited in range. Is that a lariat? Once he gets his hands on you, you he still has the toot laser. You're in for a world of hurt. <laughs> Patrick boasts some of the most powerful. Th they, I, it's so funny that they changed a lot of the animations and the Hands models on. and like you know, they made it better. World of but like I love that the like, the slam animation is still just gotcha. <laughs> you will never make this look natural. I love that. He has him by the feet. Yeah, he's just dragging his fucking tentacles, man. Oh, no. <laughs> this is great. I love that. Patrick boasts some of the most powerful throws and strong attacks in the game. Jesus, was that forward throw? Patrick boasts some of the, oh, back throw. the oh, most pff. powerful throws and strong attacks in the game. And a side special hug driver will have you thinking twice about hiding behind your block. I'm so glad he still has that. That move is so fucking funny. I love that move so much. To help him get past Patrick. I loved it in the first game, too. Projectiles, disjoints, and the... Wait. Are you thinking twice about hiding behind your block? To help him get... What the fuck is that? You've got to be kidding. That can't be real. Thaddeus, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's not Pyra. Look how fast it is. Pass projectile. Well, no, maybe it's not fast. Hold on. Special hug driver will have Let you me thinking see twice about hiding behind your block. Look how fast that is. To help him get past projectile. That's fast, dude. It's like, uh -uh, uh -uh. You could just, you could full hop down air across the stage. Could you just dash down it? Oh my Disjoints god. Disjoints and those notorious platforms hiding behind your What block. did he knock there? To I'm just learning more about other get characters. Pass project down. What is that? That's a electric grenade? Joints and die. And those notorious platform campers. <laughs> table flip is a versatile disjoints and those notorious. Dude, new Nigel looks so funny, man. Platform campers. That's so good. I want to see new Nigel so bad. So I, I have the, the beta of the game or the demo or whatever, but I'm not looking at it. I don't want to see it. I, do, I want this to, I want all the reactions to be genuine, so I haven't actually looked at it. Table flip is a versatile tool that covers a generous amount of space. Oh my god, he is logged now. Force people back to the ground. His down special, Counter Slam, also does what you'd expect from the name. That parry? He counters yeah. an attack and slams his opponents. Bro, that shit's Zana from Icons. If you do it with a bit of a running start and jump into the air, you can also take advantage Man just broke his NDA. I think I'm allowed to say I have it, right? Because they revealed it. Which of the projectiles your opponent leaves I'm not going to tell you anything about it. ...a field to get a nice burst of speed to close... Other than the characters. <laughs> ...the gap between you. Patrick's other... Did Patrick just teabag me? You better fucking ...as your opponent not. leaves around the field to get a nice burst of speed... His ass better not be tea... 
I fucking hate this asshole. What a piece of... I guess he wouldn't know better. Patrick wouldn't do that to me. He's too stupid to know that's toxic. Patrick's other specials include his double layered. Thank which, you, Top Hat Matt. Which is a fantastic get off me. How many subs to tell us stuff about it? As many subs that would as would uh, as would cover my legal costs. Tech that is also much larger and gains armor when enhanced with slime. The aforementioned hug driver also is granted armor Four to the slime version. It's fucking Nickelodeon. Patrick's up special will grab opponents as he's traveling, but Basso is granted is armor that? through the slime version. Patrick's up special uh. will grab have opponents as he's traveling, but besides that, he's completely vulnerable and doesn't go super far. Aww. Altogether, his recovery is unfortunately a bit lackluster. So you might find yourself spending a bit of meter for an air dodge or enhanced up special. Okay. Each sure. of Patrick's strong attacks packs a serious punch, and many of them include additional special properties. These all look like very silly. God damn! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm acting up. The hell is that? He looks like a toddler in a swimming pool with like the raft. You know what I'm saying? That where his legs go, dude. Holy shit. Where are you packing all that, Patrick? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Looks like his legs are below the stage. For example, his charged up air, Star Spin, gives him a small vertical boost which can help his otherwise weak recovery. Coney doesn't know about the iron buns. Yeah, I don't know that one. His charged down air is a powerful spike that also grabs the ledge, preventing you from overshooting. While his <laughs> his charged down air So is that that's down air, I guess? Is a powerful spike that also grabs the ledge, preventing you from overshooting. While his grounded down attack, Steel Buns, is a powerful counterattack where Patrick leaps into the air and comes crashing down on his opponents. He leaps high enough to dodge some attacks and grabs. And Wait, even lands on top. that one's normal. Why was it just that one move? I'll pop the snooze if five people sub in four minutes. We, that is not happening. <laughs> but, okay, hold on. Wait. $25 fi donation. Thank you. That's basically five subs. Surely All this right. is enough for the legal fees. <laughs> yeah, twenty five dollars for Viacom, thank you. G O R I L L A C H A D. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Wait, we we're talking about Patrick up here. We haven't seen it yet, have we? Here it comes crashing down on his opponents. <laughs> he leaps high enough to dodge some attacks and grabs, and even lands on top of platforms. Being a grappler yep. means playing slow, careful, and knowing how to get inside your opponent. Wait, was that the up air? Being a grappler means What's the up playing slow. Up till careful. What is that up here? The fuck are these moves? And knowing how to get. Thank you, AJ Collins. Thanks for the five gifties, Gorilla Chad, in the chat. Inside your opponent's head, maybe things that Patrick himself isn't the best at doing. Nevertheless, he has all the tools necessary to make that game plan effective. If you have the brains to compensate for Patrick's lack thereof, or just want to swing and hit hard and not worry too much about combos or execution, definitely oh, give him that. a try. I love that. I love that for Patrick. Patrick's up special. What's the what's his up air? I didn't see it. Amount of small things to speed to get off me attack that is all standard armor through the slime version. Patrick's up special will grab opponents. Oh, table is up air. That is also Patrick's objectile is your opponent down special covers in those. Wait, table is his up air? Glorious platform. Honey, it's not spoilers if you call it. All stars, nothing they can do. Guys, I have an announcement. Character is in the game. Uh, Big Bird. <laughs> it sounds like Big Bird. I meant Squidward. If Big Bird is not in the game. Big Bird. I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I don't mean that. No, fuck. Fuck. I don't mean Big Bird. I said Big Bird. Bit, like Squidward. Bit, oh, my God. I'm going to be in so much trouble. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> I'm so fucking dead. Now Disney wants your ass. I'm, I'm done on every front. I'm fighting two wars at once now. Patrick, Bandy Beaks, Bister Babs, <laughs> Bisses Buff. Form campers. Patrick's light up air table flip is a yeah. So that's up air. What the fuck? Versatile tool that covers a generous amount. Bister Braps? No, <laughs> that's something different. Out of space. That shit's in frame makers. <laughs> Mr. Preps. 
It can force people back to the ground. Uh, that that I didn't think that was an up air. Why would that be an up air? That's stupid. It's log. That's literally Ren and Stimpy's log move from the last game. Generous amount of space. It can force people back to the ground. Too many B moves, I guess, yeah. They made him look really dumb. It's not how he looked in the last game, which is good, right? Multiverses ass up here. Dude, I didn't realize how many projectiles were in multiverses until, like, I stopped, you know, playing for a bit and I watched some matches back. Dude, that game is just fucking a flurry at all times. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Pancake Mix. Bugs has, like, a, yeah, it's just a bullet hell. I played Morty. And Morty is just fucking sending shit. I loved it. Dude, uh, th if there's one thing I loved about multiverses, playing characters in that game didn't feel like playing any character in any other game. I still miss playing Morty. Morty was so fucking fun. That arm with the... Badoo, badoo. Superman felt so different from any other character. I loved Ren and Stimpy in the first Nazby. But it still felt like a platform character. You know what I mean? It felt like a platform fighter for the most part. Um, I think what differentiated Nickelodeon for me were the air dodges. Those air dashes were crazy, dude. The air dashes felt so good to string together in this game. Um, that was like the differentiator here, but... Coney, did you like Iron Giant? <laughs> I think you have a YouTube video to watch, my friend. I don't know if you know this. Or maybe you're just setting me up. You gave me an alley-oop on this, but uh, I was actually the number one Iron Giant at one time. Yeah. That character was fucking broken. <laughs> Iron Giant literally just mashed down air and just... <laughs> Coney, what would it take for multiverses to do well? We're watching Nazby. Can we talk about Nazby? I don't know what you could do for multiverses. Because I thought it had everything. I was like, free-to-play, multiplayer, uh, um, good IPs, uh, good, like, cosmetics. A little bit expensive. Multiverse cosmetics were a little crazy. But, like, I thought it had everything. I thought the characters were a little weird for the DLCs. Like, I don't know how much they were banking on Black Adam to go crazy at the box office, but that seemed, like, I, I could have told you that shit wasn't going to happen. Um, two gremlins? Right? But... Nasby, I think, uh, I don't know. I would say because it was 50 bucks. But, um, I don't know because Multiverses was free. I love Nasby. But I do think it's a tough sell. They were 90s posting with the DLC characters. Yeah, it was a lot of boomer shit. Which, again, like, so was the first Nasby. It was, like, a lot of old Nicktoons, which I, I was fine with, right? Because I'm old as hell, but... I don't know. There are no modern Nicktoons? MVS was 80s posting. Yeah, it was even older. I think modern Nicktoons is just Loud House, right? Which is like what that is. Did you decide if you were playing Nasby 2 or Wonder on that day? Is it a double feature? I think we go double feature, bro. That might be a long stream. It, I might do a 12-hour stream, 6 hours, 6 hours. <laughs> Straight up. That's going to be a long day. Subathon? Hmm. I'm going to do a subathon, but switch games back and forth. Five dollars, five subs to change game. Then ten dollars to change game. Then fifteen subs to change game. Then twenty subs to change game. And it just keeps going back and forth. I mean, I hate to do it, but twenty subs... <laughs> Got to get the people what they want, and I, j I literally have both games loaded. I just switch back and forth immediately. Oh, I like that. That's good. I will charge my ult and force you to play Nasby 2 forever. Hey, happy to do it. I love both games. I can't wait. <laughs> and 30 subs make you play League. Never in your fucking life. Not on stream. Never. No. Speaking of which, I want to play Texas. You guys want to move over to Secret Stream? 
kind of want to do Secret Stream Texas for a little bit. I want to work out. I got to work out, though. It's 11.30. Tough. Texas? Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro. That game goes foolish. I have a key. I have a key for it. Got a free key. Work out those murder muscles. Hell yeah. Uh, All right. That's it for the mainstream tonight. I think I might pop on over for a little one. Let me get that. Sure, I'll send it to you. Uh, ads are coming on in uh, 45 seconds anyway. So yeah, let's see if we get out of the ads. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Where's Secret Stream? Join the Discord. I'll post the link in there. It's in the sub-only Discord. You'll probably be able to find it. It's not hard to find. So don't worry about it. But if you subscribe, you can get access to the Discord on Twitch. Okay? Um, oh, shit. I got to do one last drift. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, how many did I do? Three tonight? I forgot about that. Guys, before we go, first off, if you don't subscribe now, you're going to miss this great ad that I'm about to tell you about. This great product that's sponsoring the stream tonight. Watch out. We've done three? All right. This is four. Perfect. You're going to miss it, so you better subscribe right now. Hit the theme song. Subscribe right now. It's a Twitch Prime, which is free, or only $4.99 a month. $1.25 a week, which is fucking nothing. Work half an hour at your job. Bring it to me. Once a month? You can't do 30 minutes? That's ridiculous. Twitch Prime if you're so lazy. That's fine. I know you have Amazon Prime. I know you have it. Subscribe now so you can see this wonderful product I'm about to tell you about for sponsoring this stream. Fellas, I would love to tell you about tonight's sponsor for the last time tonight. It's Drift. Drift keeps your car smelling delicious with a wood freshener or a stone freshener or a metal freshener. For only $9.95, $14, or $15, you can get your car smelling good for about a month, maybe a little bit longer, uh, depending on how sunny it is, I think. I think it depends on how much exposure you get. You get all the good stuff, none of the bad, and they have such wonderful flavors, like Amber, Cabana, Coffee, Grove, Mill, Teak, PSL, that's pumpkin size latte, as we found out, and Pine. You get a starter kit or a refill. $9.95 for the starter kit. Or $9.95 for the refill, which maybe comes with the, the, I don't know. You get a couple. Why not stock up with the 12-pack? Get a bunch, huh? You can also subscribe to save a little bit of money over the long term. Check that out. 90 bucks for a year? That's not bad at all. And remember, if you use my code Coney or go below the stream and hit the button in the panel, you can actually get 55% off. And that's what they told me to say. I don't know if that's true because I feel like 55% off of $10 is a crazy discount. But I'm going to let that rock. That feels like stealing, and I'm going to let you guys do it, but only for right now, and I hope nobody gets mad at me. Check out Drift. My favorite flavor, I haven't tried. They only sent me the teak, but I really like it. I'm actually going to keep this going. Often when I take sponsors and stuff, I don't keep it going because, you know, why would I? But I actually love this because I really do hate, like, the artificial smell of a lot of fresheners. This smells very good. It is, it's basically a stick of wood covered in oils, and it goes over there. I like it a lot. So I'm going to do that in the future, uh, and I think you guys should too. Check out Drift below the stream or exclamation point, all that stuff. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. When is the Amazon stream? Wait, did I not? I literally had this open the whole time. Oh, my fucking God. I was talking about this the whole time. Oh, no way. All right, uh, uh, check out Drift with all the things I was just talking about. Oh, so many flavors. Check the 12-pack refill for 90... This is what I was saying. 12-pack refill, you can deliver it. The fucking do all the variety pack with all the scent profiles. Look at that. Amber, scent profile. Fresh rain, lavender, amber, sage, teak, scent profile, musk, amber, pepper, teak, cedar. Every single flavor you could ask for. Check out Drift. I love it, and you will too. Drift.com or .co, I think. Use the code Coney. Get 55% off. I'm done for the night. Amazon stream tomorrow. Roblox Thursday. Let's go to the secret stream. I'm about to kill some teenagers. <laughs> Mean by that Coney. I'm about to kill children. <laughs>